That's why we won't have a Maylene cam because it's just Maylene just. Also, I don't think people want to hear some of the stuff you have to say, Maylin. I don't, don't want to hear. Some I'm glad these microphones are super condensed. People, and people don't, pick don't up know everything. People don't know what they're asking for. We'd have to cut so much shit if Maylin starts not, opening her mouth. Also, Maylin's just a fucking normal employee. <laughs> 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 like, I'm just showing a camera at a face. Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Trash Taste Podcast. I am Boss Man One, and I'm here with Boss Man Two and Three. Here Hello. to get the dub. Hey. Boss we we, we are not the boys anymore. We are boss men. We are the boss men. <laughs> <laughs> Why did we not call that podcast that? <laughs> Welcome to the boss men podcast. Oh, God. <laughs> no, no. Every week <laughs> is a dub. <laughs> uh, how are you boys doing? Good, good. I'm tired as all hell because- You're of, in the middle of moving I'm right now, aren't well, you? By the time this comes out, I would have finished moving, yes. Yeah. But um, yeah, like literally tomorrow <laughs> is the moving day for me. <laughs> So I have been just scrambling for the past week, just like cleaning. I didn't realize, you don't realize how much stuff you have in your house until you start cleaning it's your It's always house. like that, right? Because I remember whenever I would move, mm. like you start packing st stuff up and you, you think to yourself, it's gonna take a day at most. Yeah. And you pack up like all the main stuff in like a day and you're like, oh, I'm 90% of the way packed. And then for some reason, all the like the little shit that just lets, gets left over, <laughs> that takes like two days. Wait, to let me out. introduce ourselves. Well, yeah. <laughs> Cause you own, like, I feel like 50% of the items you own, you never use, think about, but you, you think you need them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You also yeah. never see them either because they're like uh, either yeah. put in a closet or like, you know, Kind of out of sight somewhere, right? But, but like, you yeah. have like a colander. Like, you need a colander, <laughs> but like, you don't really think about it until right. you uh, you start using it or until there. You're like, what the fuck do I do with this? I remember like, we have cheap? like we have this like shaved ice machine that uh, I think I think Maylene got it for <laughs> us, but uh, we we had it for like the last summer because Maylene was yeah. like, oh, I want to like come to your guys' place and like w the girls can have like a kind of girls like day and we can just yeah. make shaved ice or whatever. Never used it. Yeah. <laughs> That's Oh, we do, okay, we used it once. We used, we used it once and it's just this huge brick of a thing that's just like sitting in the kitchen. I'm like, why is this here? <laughs> There's always that one drawer in every kitchen, right? That is just the unused appliance drawer, right? right? Where it's just these appliances that people give you as gifts or that you think is gonna be cool when you host like that dinner party <laughs> that never happens. Yeah. And then there's just these like random appliances that just get put into this drawer yeah. and you forget you even have. Exactly, right? exactly. And yeah, but like, like we have like- and forks. And just, like, <laughs> yeah. Use my hands. So. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, but like I, uh, I got um, this kind of cleaning service thing because, okay, one thing, okay, we're immediately gonna go on to, this is one thing I hate about Japan, throwing away trash, right? Okay. And especially yeah. the big trash, yeah. right? Cause like in Australia, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> just pick myself up. <laughs> but um, cause like, I don't know about in the UK, but in Australia we have like this thing, I think it happens once every two or three months. Uh, it's called like council cleanup day. Mm -hmm. So basically what we do is we take huge appliances like couches, beds, you know, drawers, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And we literally just, throw it out in front of the street, like just onto the street. As you do. And basically it's, you know, you throw it out, um, people can kind of walk around and just, you know, grab stuff if they want. Like if they think, oh, you know, I can, I can use that Two couch. to three months? It's like every two to three months or something. How have I never seen this? Really? <laughs> in Australia, yeah, it happens. I, I don't know if maybe that's just like the area yeah, I the, grew in up the UK, in. In the UK, uh, I don't think there's enough space to just throw Oh, throw I think you're talking about things. Japan for a second. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no Japan, in Australia. In Australia, uh, we right, have right, that, right. where we just throw stuff out and then big garbage truck basically comes and collects all the stuff that doesn't get picked up after like a week, I think. Right. Um, Japan doesn't work like that. So like we had to throw away our bed, which is like a queen size bed. Yeah. Uh, a couch and like a couple of tables and like a sofa and stuff like that. A lot of big stuff, but like you can't just throw it out with the rest of the trash. You have to, either you have to go to your like local council and mm -hmm. be like, I want to throw this stuff away. And they give you these like tickets that you have to pay for. Yeah. To basically be like, all right, I'm throwing this out on this day. And then you throw it out onto the street. And you have to book it and tell them. You have to book yeah. it. And you have to tell them the exact measurements of the thing so they yeah. can plan out the truck. Or what I found out is you can just, there's just services out there that you can just call up and be like, I want to throw all this crap away. How much is it to get rid of? Yeah. yeah. A little more expensive than like the whole council thing, but so much easier. Oh, I can yeah. imagine. Yes. I mean, it's, it's it's not a price for me. It's like, like we talked about last week, it's just mm. getting the paperwork done yeah. that like, fucking I'm scared of. Yeah, exactly. And like, I'm not even finished with the fucking paperwork too, because we have to do more after we move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Japan is just like a never ending sea of paperwork. <laughs> but like, I was like, okay, I'm getting rid of this giant bed. I'm getting rid of this couch, this table, all these like big appliances. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, well, these are the big things gone. So, you know, maybe like 30% of my belongings. 
probably gone. It's right. more like 3%. <laughs> I, f- I feel like in like your bedroom or office, there's so many little things that you just never think about. Oh, especially yeah. my office. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. In my office, there's so many little things. I'm just like, I'm... I'm, well, first of all, I'm looking forward to like the moving company coming in and seeing like all of like my Faku skateboards and shit like that. <laughs> just being like, whoa. They'll be like, yo, is that a, is that a REM 818 like, scale? Damn, you'll be, son. You'll just like giving them a tour of your <laughs> house. Be like, yeah, so this is, this is the JoJo like section. Like free office tour. <laughs> yeah. No, Not actually to be fair, the, when the moving guy first came in to like check to see mm. what we had, he mm-hmm. walked into my office and he was like, Whoa. <laughs> Otaku's dream, yeah, It's man. like, wow, <laughs> Jesus, this guy's got yeah, a fucking collection. I had like the opposite happen where like, I, I, I only use my tatami room to film in mm. and I only use it. So I have a big tatami room that I normally do the cosplay videos in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, and you I'm have really that. bad. So I, I never clean them up after. I just leave the cosplays there until right. I do the next video and then yeah. I clean it up. Uh, uh, and then one time they didn't tell me they were doing this, but there was like a, they were checking like the fire alarms in the building. Mm. Right. And I was like, yeah, sure, come in, come in. And he's going around my house. He goes into my office. You know, he looks. And he's like, oh, I'm like, yeah, I like JoJo. He just, <laughs> he just he looked at me like I was a fucking weird. <laughs> and I was like, all right, thanks, buddy. And yeah, then, that- and then as he went to like my tatami room, I was like, oh shit, I just remembered that all my shit was in there. Mm. And so like, I I go in to check that he's there, and this man is just standing in the middle of like my cosplay everywhere. It's, it's this stuff reeks, just holding up something to the fire alarm, just looking like, look down, don't look, don't look, <laughs> don't look at anything. <laughs> And then after this guy left really awkwardly, an hour later, someone else came along from the same company in the building and did the exact same thing. Right. Yep. And I was like, wait, why am I being checked twice? Oh, is it like a spot man? I don't know. <laughs> like I was really like, Just gonna make sure my friend got it right, you know? He's like, yo, I heard this free cosplay. Where's it at? <laughs> like, okay. And then I had the exact same interaction again where I was like, oh yeah, sorry about the mess yeah. in this room. By yeah. the way, I like Jojo. <laughs> By the way, I also like Jojo. <laughs> and they're like, oh really? Oh, okay. <laughs> you fucking weirdo. Yeah. You fucking but luckily, like we, yeah, like as I said, I'm pretty sure I mentioned in the previous podcast episode. But like, we got a service that where they just do all the packing yeah. for us. Yeah, but yeah. My God, I cannot imagine if I had to do that all myself. God. I just kind of realized what I'm gonna have to go through when we move, yeah. um, because my room's gonna be fine. Um, <laughs> but then I got Sydney's room, yeah. <laughs> which the amount of fucking fucked up shit in Sydney's <laughs> room. So, <laughs> oh, be careful! That's the pussy of the round two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That thing's expensive. <laughs> so I remember, I remember this one time we we had to get like our doorbell fixed, right? Mm. So we, we we thought we thought our house was pretty clean. Basically, whenever someone needs to come in to check our house at all, we just yeah. make sure like Sydney's room is just fucking locked off. <laughs> it's 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 like a quarantine section, you know. That room you gotta, you gotta put up like, like you know the, like Chernobyl. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, the, you can't go there. You, you gotta put up like the R eighteen like curtains <laughs> like, to the doorway, right? It's like only adults. It's like, a, it's like you, you put the fucking biohazard sign on the door just to make sure. <laughs> no one gets in, right? It's but, radioactive, I yeah, saw Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So how we learned our lesson was we had our, door, we had our doorbell fixed and of course Sydney's room was like cordoned off. Mm. But we forget that sometimes Sydney just has shit lying about the house, right? <laughs> and I guess we've just become so desensitized to some of the stuff she reviews. Right. My, my, my fiance reviews a lot of lewd stuff. That's mm. that's that's her channel. So we just had like a bunch of figures that were just left in the living room with just like their tits out, right? <laughs> as living, you, as room, you do. living room material. As what, you do. what living room would be would complete without? Oh, I see you've seen my, you see my decor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that's the mother knows breast one size real scale, you know. So so this guy this guy just comes in, right? And um the the, the doorbell's like right next to the kitchen. And also we have a shelf right next to the kitchen, which just has two lewd, completely naked figures just <laughs> right next to where the doorbell is. Right. He takes a look at, looks at the figures, looks at Sydney, and just doesn't make eye contact with Sydney ever again. <laughs> he's, he's got like hentai hair, yeah. like for a time. Yeah. <laughs> he's just just like hair's covering his eyes. Just sweating. <laughs> uh, yeah, and that was probably the longest fucking hour he had to like enjoy of his life when he was just fixing his I love his how he belt. immediately looked at Sydney. Like most, <laughs> like you wouldn't think that like you'd look at like Gone, right? Being like this motherfucker, right? <laughs> just like leaving his loose shit out. No, immediately went to Sydney. He's like, yeah. God, I wish that was me. I, <laughs> it's, wish, it's I the, wish my wife would let me put my, my dirty figures in God, there. It's, 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 yeah, it's the one time whenever someone comes around and I'm just like, yo, this, these loose stuff, that's that's not me, guys, guys, guys that's not me. It's, it's, <laughs> you're just it's my like, partner. You just like silently point. Yeah, yeah. No, no, seriously, seriously, it's my partner this time. (laughs) Yeah, I I mean, I had to like, cause I have like quite a few like dojins and stuff like that in my bookshelf as well. So I was like, I'll I'll pack these away before I, uh, (laughs) cause like I'm with these guys for like, 
couple of days. Yeah, yeah. Like I don't want like an awkward experience for a couple of days as they like sift through my dojins being like, so what's the fragile stuff and what's not the fragile stuff? But um, yeah, so like because of that, I have just been so incredibly busy. I haven't been able to like sit down and like play any games. I mean, fucking Pokemon Snap came out like a few days ago. Haven't been able to like download yeah, that yeah. shit at all. You're not ahead on videos anymore, are you? Which is <sighs> just not, like, I, I heard that about Joey and I'm just like, what what is going on? Dude, May, May I think, well, I mean, I, I think this comes out end of May, right? But it's like the slowest month I've ever had. Like, I think my next video is not coming out for like 12 days or something. I'm like, fuck, oh my, God. my career is over, dude. Go I used man. to upload <laughs> daily. Go on, man, it's just like the, the like the signs of the apocalypse is happening. Yeah, you know, right. The fucking sky is falling, and Joey is not ahead on videos. Exactly. <laughs> that's how I know the end of. The, that's yeah. how I know the I'm end. I'm so is not ahead that I'm falling behind. <laughs> yeah. I'm falling, and I can't get up. I missed an upload as well, and it like killed me. I like apologized yeah. on my YouTube page, <laughs> and people were like, "You don't have to apologize, man." Yeah. I'm like, no, I'm like, no, I do, I do. It's not. I'm not apologizing for you. I'm apologizing yeah. to me. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's the thing, right? It's like, like twelve days to the average YouTube viewer is like whatever. Yeah. Like there's no difference between seven days between videos and like two weeks between upload. Yeah. But to the person who makes it, it's like, oh yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. everything. You know, it's Meanwhile, all worse. I think about. Yeah. Meanwhile, this is damn videos. <laughs> Meanwhile, this is the first time in my career where I've been like ahead on video. So I'm just like, <laughs> damn, I have Look some free time. Look at us. 2021, the turns of table. <laughs> God <laughs> uploads more than Joey or Connor. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Oh yeah, no yeah. No yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe one day. Maybe, maybe one day. day. Maybe yeah. one day. I'll, I'll be back. I'll be yeah. back. Don't Let's worry. Let's play a gaunt when? Come on. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Wait until Gaunt discovers five nights of Freddy's guys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's game over. So yeah. yeah, I mean, now that fucking lockdown's been happening again, I mm, guess we can call for off- For the 17th time. For the or 17th it is. time. I don't know. Lockdown in Japan has been weird, right? It's just a roller coaster. It goes like the cases go up. They announce a shitty lockdown. That's like two more rules added. Mm. And then the, the, the cases go down. And then it, and then they go back up again when they let go of restrictions. And yeah. then it, they, this is happening like the, what, the fourth time now. Yeah. So we're just doing the same shit over and over again. And but this lockdown is the shortest ever. It's only two weeks or something? Yeah, I think they're I'm like, what's gonna what change in point? two weeks? I think they literally just wanted to be like, oh, golden week's happening. Uh, let's yeah. let's, let's Wait, have so it yeah. not happen. Meanwhile, you explain every what golden week is to the, the viewers who don't know? Yeah, so golden week is this week uh, during the first week of May. Uh, we're, well, as we're recording this, we're in the middle of it right now, where it's basically just a bunch of public holidays back to back to back to back to back. Mm. So I think, yeah, so basically <laughs> people just get a week off. Do you know how I remember golden week? Mm. It was the one week of the year, aside from like New Year's, where manga mangakas would take a break from their weekly yeah, manga yeah, schedule. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just like, oh, One Piece is on break? Yeah. What the fuck's Golden Week? Oh, just like, thank God, <laughs> finally. Yeah, that's, everything's that's, on fire. Like, yeah. I didn't get One Piece this week. <laughs> that's the only reason I knew of Golden Week before moving to Japan. Yeah, exactly. Well, because like, I think, you know, Japan needs Golden Week because yeah. Japan's one of the few countries that works on Christmas. Mm. You know, like Christmas is just like, I think everywhere else Christmas is like a public holiday or at least like in, in oh, Australia. World, yeah. Right. Well, yeah, like in Australia, like, you know, it's like the second half of December yeah. until maybe the first week of J January, like three weeks. It's just yeah. full uh, on uh, holiday. Christmas here is just Valentine's Day 2.0. Yeah, it's basically. Just, it, is. it really is. <laughs> it gives a shit. Yeah. yeah. But it's they were just like, oh, I, don't have a I don't have a partner. Finna work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's either you're on a date or you are working on something. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I guess like, you know, to Japan, they need golden week because it's the one time where they're almost forced to take the week off. Mm. Yeah. Cause otherwise they get, I mean, you know, people still are just like, no, fuck it. It's still working week for me, but yeah. yeah, yeah. My, my whole favorite thing of uh, all the Japanese government's lockdowns is that they did the, in the, in like, during the whole pandemic, the government thought of this amazing idea called go to, Travel. This is just like oh yeah, that was a this thing. is just the funniest. Oh, yeah. fucking, this is the funniest fucking thing. So Jap Japanese government, they were losing a lot of money, obviously, to, from tourism that they mm -hmm. were they weren't getting. So in the middle of like the pandemic, this is like months ago. This is before. This is last year. This is during the first lockdown, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Mm. They were like, guys, we're losing too much money in our travel economy. We yeah. need to, we need to, we need to put some money back into it. What we're yeah. gonna do is, guys, we're gonna give you thirty percent off everything, and yeah. we're gonna pay you money to go travel. Yeah. We'll give you two hundred bucks to spend, depending on how much you spend. And uh, yeah, you get coupons at your yeah, destination. Yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah. They were like, oh yeah, so like it's a lockdown, 
But also, if you travel, 30% discount hey, or anything. Hey. Here's some money to spend. Go treat yourself, King. <laughs> but don't leave the house, though. But don't leave. Yeah. Like, yeah. And then like they realized it was like a colossal mistake, like a month later, when yeah. the cases went up a yeah. fuck ton. Because everyone's, of course, everyone's going to travel. <laughs> exactly. It's you like, mean you're paying me to travel and you don't want me to travel? Yeah. yeah. Like if you went to like a five star hotel that's like a thousand bucks, it would go down to like 600 and then mm. you'd be given like 300 bucks to spend. And yeah. it's like, yeah. who isn't going to do that? Like if you have disposable income, it's like, anyone is gonna do that. It's like dangling a carrot in front of a horse and telling the horse not to run. Right? <laughs> yeah. it's like, don't, it's don't. Like, I'm finna, I'm finna try to be responsible yeah, here. Yeah. But you Japanese government making me act up. You know what I mean? I, I, I want, you know, I was like, well, shit, I'm going Hokkaido. Yeah, see, and see of course, guys. everyone, <laughs> everyone abused the fuck out of that yeah, system, right? I, everyone went traveling. Yeah, because it was like, why wouldn't I? I went, <laughs> yeah. I went to like four different places. So I was like, oh I'm, I'm obviously not, because like literally everybody is going, right? So it's like, what's the point? What's the point of not going? It was the most confusing period ever because they were like, don't travel, but please travel. Please, please travel. We need it for the, and the then economy. They, and then they shut it. it down like after- Yeah, what, like, like a month. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, of course it was. It was a colossal mistake. I mean, it makes- I went to Hokkaido because I was like, fuck yeah. yeah like, right? I, I, you yeah. know, I didn't interact with anyone, but it was- I think, I think all three of us went to Hokkaido different yeah. times, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I like- Why I went, the fuck wouldn't I? I went yeah. way after and it was yeah. because it was because you guys kept talking about Hokkaido and I was like, okay, I think it's my time to go to Hokkaido <laughs> as well. Waited for lockdown to end and I'm just like, damn, this is, they, they, they weren't joking around. Fucking Hokkaido slaps, exactly, man. Exactly. It's like middle of fucking nowhere. No one's there. It's like, yeah. great. It's like yeah, it's peaceful. It's fantastic. But it was just the dumbest thing ever because if they'd have just kept, like this is the whole thing that the Japanese government's been doing where they just kind of haven't really committed to anything. Yeah. They haven't really told you not to do anything. Mm. I th I th They've been I th very wishy-washy. I, th I think that's the thing. Every every restriction they've given is seems very half-assed from my, like from my perspective, yeah. you know, it's, it's it's not it's not been like we've never been fully open, but we've also never been fully closed either. Yeah, like they've never said you can't travel around. They they were the worst thing. Or if done. anything, they reward you for. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you know, and then they they also said like, oh yeah, you know, restaurants please close at eight. You know, yeah. like suddenly for some reason people are just you know magically stop getting infected before. Right. Eight. Yeah. But, I mean, I like mean this new lockdown, well. they were like restaurants can't serve alcohol anymore, right? Yeah. And I'm just like. So I'm still allowed to go to the restaurant. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It's, <laughs> but I just can't it's, drink it's, beer. Like I, I, it's it's generous to even call it like half measures. It's mm -hmm. like you know, a, a, like a quarter measure. measure yeah. Yeah. is what they do. And you know, I, I don't know. I don't really but care that's, about that's, the whole politics at all. But well, I, I wish they would just decide what they want to well, do. Well, that's the problem, isn't it? Is that like unlike a lot of countries, the Japanese Japanese law they can't force yeah. establishments to close down. Yeah, like yeah. a lot of other countries, <clears throat> and so they're like. They're like, yeah, okay, so we can't force you to close down, but we 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 advise you to not serve alcohol, yeah. to not yeah. to close after eight. But there's but there's also like, uh, from what I heard, there's like a penalty for like mm. establishments that don't follow those rules. But if you, you, make you a get a, you get a fine, money, if you yeah. make a fuck ton of money. Yeah, yeah. the restaurants that make so much money were but like, well, I will just pay the bill. The penalty is so low that there are a lot of restaurants out there, especially in like inner Tokyo that are just like, we'll pay oh, for the yeah, penalty. So, some some of like the biggest restaurants, I, I think just pay the fine. Yeah, they yeah, just pay the yeah, fine, also, but they make more off of the money that they yeah, made. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. Right? And also there were like the, the biggest that was like, not even the fine. It was like, we'll put you on a list of companies that stayed open. <laughs> and obviously to, to a lot of Japanese people, that's like, that's pretty like, fuck, we're, got, fuck, we're gonna be on a list? Yeah. Fuck. But then to some of them, they were like, oh, I don't fucking give a shit about yeah, It's like getting on the naughty <laughs> list on Santa, right? Yeah, like, yeah. It's like, oh no. That is so, so dumb. Yeah. So dumb. That's the thing. It would have, this would have been, at least in Japan. Australia and New Zealand, like mm. totally locked down. Yeah. Like yeah. New Zealand were like, no. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no Australia no one could do anything. Australia yeah. locked down for like nine months. Yeah. Like fully. Yeah. And like people couldn't go outside for more than an hour a yeah. day. And like yeah, yeah. all restaurants were closed, all that kind of stuff. And like, yeah, and then when in Sydney, at least we got one case, and the entire city went into lockdown for like a month. Yeah. Meanwhile, so Japan is like thousand cases. Don't drink at restaurants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like cool, thanks. Yeah, but I mean, it's it'll be interesting to see what happens in this next year because every every other country seems to be getting their vaccines, and we are still like we're probably not going to be able to get our vaccines this year, if we stay in Japan, it's right. looking more and more likely. But I mean, you know, there's like, <clears throat> I know of a few of my American friends who are here mm. who are just probably just gonna like bite the bullet and just go back to America this yeah. sometime this year to just go get the oh, vaccine. Oh, people, yeah. Everyone in like my age in America is already getting it. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, exactly. In the UK as well, right? Yeah, in the UK as well. Yeah. Like, it's like being a kid again when they always got the games before you. It's like, <laughs> fuck, man. Like, why are you all getting the good <laughs> shit? What the fuck? The, it's reversed now. Like, yeah, Japan is the last one yeah, to get exactly, it out. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's like, Japan was always the first. <laughs> now you're the last. I feel like I've, I've been lied to. <laughs> but like, are you guys gonna do it? 
Perhaps. Yeah, I'm probably going to do it. I mean, I don't blame you. I'd fucking do it. I like if I was an American UK. or like or, or I mean, you know, it, from the UK, I would absolutely. It's, do it. It's twofold for me, right? Because I I, I want to I want go back to the UK. I want to go back to the UK. <laughs> well, yeah, to that's visit my friends. Toast, God damn it! <laughs> you know, it's it's been like this is I think this is longest I've been from like seeing my family mm. yeah, and same, seeing my friends. Same, yeah. So I'm just like that's that that and the vaccine. If I can get everything done in one trip, then that's yeah, I'm gonna take like a month and a half off mm. Japan and just go do the things that. I want. I need to do yeah. for my health, and also catch up to all the things like yeah. beans and like, toast. In it, just want to have it. <laughs> just just want to have some fuck beans my friends, and just beans and toast. <laughs> right, there's no Heinz beans here. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Like, <laughs> see the problem it's with so me- fucking depressing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I legitimately, it's I legitimately beans. miss beans and toast. I'm sorry. I, I crave it. I don't I think there's a more it. depressing sight than just beans on toast by <laughs> itself. I'm sorry. Listen, as bake, a Brit, as bake, a Brit, beans <laughs> taste good. As a Brit, like seeing the sight of just like beans on toast as like a fucking breakfast, dinner, whatever. It's fantastic. See, I feel that way, but like two or three times a year, I just wake up and I'm like, fuck, I go for some beans right now. Baked bake beans, bake like, beans like Heinz baked beans. I'm like, oh. great source of protein as well. You yeah. Know? I mean, like, what's not to like? like beans, fuck me up. beans are magical. They're like fucking fantastic. Make me fart like a motherfucker, but who cares? It's still good, who, man. who cares? I like that. You know, it feels yeah. like you're being cleansed. <laughs> it's like detox. Yeah. <laughs> but like, that's the problem, right? It's like, at least you guys and like all my American friends have you know, a choice to do that, right? Yeah, go yeah, back, yeah. Is, you know, doubly like well, get shit, a vaccine I just saw and do like that. Australia apparently made it illegal to return if you're from India, right? If you're- yeah. Oh really? I think, I think a lot like of- Illegal, com- like you oh, would get illegal. like, you oh, would well, yeah. go to prison yeah. Yeah, if you I mean, return. Yeah. That makes sense. Like, it's just like, what? Yeah. 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 Well, that's the problem, right? Is that like, I can't do the same for Australia because yeah. we're in no rush to get the vaccine because yeah, no one's had COVID for the past four months. So like not even my grandma, who's like 92 this year has gotten it yet. Yeah, it's like mo- like maybe I mean, like you a- guys you guys are isolated as fuck. It's it's hard enough to get in your country as it is. Exactly. You know? yeah. yeah, I mean it makes sense, right? But like you know that's why Australia's done so well, and it's, same with New Zealand. But yeah. still. that's why if like the whole world goes through like the fucking apocalypse, Australia is just going to be Australia and New kidding. Zealand are going to yeah. be like the two <laughs> remaining countries. <laughs> exactly. Right. Like, nothing goes in. Nothing comes out. Man, so, seeing the whole like uh, like the whole Joe Rogan controversy about all the like vaccines and stuff. Yeah, like it's mm. it's so frustrating that like it's literally been the only thing anyone can talk about for the past like year and a half is COVID and all this shit. Mm, yeah. But it's also like something you can't talk about because everyone's fucking turned it into a political thing. Yeah. yeah. Where yeah. it's just like, I just, I just want to eat baked beans. I just don't want to die. Yeah. I just, yeah, I just don't want to be ill, and I don't want to get other people ill. Yeah, I, I, it, I, I didn't, I didn't know it's become like a thing like that. that like even now talking about it, I yeah. feel like fuck. There's probably gonna be like some fucking pe- assholes in the comment who are like annoyed about it. as talking about. I just want to kiss my homies good night, man. Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Come right? on, man. Let me kiss my homies. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just want to eat some fucking baked beans. Watch Cars Two in the theater. You know. Just- <laughs> <laughs> I just well, want- I mean, what wasn't it like the UK recently? I think like a couple of days ago just mm-hmm. had their first maskless, maskless, maskless concert. It was like um, 5,000 people at a concert or something and there were none of them wearing masks because they were all vaccinated. I'm not sure about it. Mei-Lin, can you like can you play fact checker? Check, check. I'm pretty fact sure checker. I saw that this morning, but like, I'm not surprised either because the UK has been, I mean, the US and the UK have been so fucking I, good with their vaccines. I, I loved how uh, in the UK when they literally were like, okay guys, I th- think you can maybe go out for drinks now. Literally yeah. like the first day, <laughs> London was like rammed. It was totally- Of course, of course it would be. And they were like, well, yeah, we're waiting like 10 years for this. We're gonna have to go to the pint with Jerry. Yeah. Like, it's like, oh my God. Exactly. God, I can't, re- can't imagine how Weatherspoons was gonna be like as yeah. soon as they opened up. Oh my God. God. God, I do miss a good Weatherspoons actually. I, like, you know, the, the government could tell like if Britain had to fight in like another war, you mm. know, and the government was like, please fight, please fight for us. And they'd be like, nah, nah, they're like, Pubs will be open if you fight. They'll be like, where are we fighting? Where are we fighting? <laughs> like, I don't know say. what it is about pubs and British people, but like it, it, it turns them into something like <laughs> ferocious. Like when pubs come into the equation, yeah. they become like different people. Yeah, They're like, of course. They suddenly become more passionate. Like, yeah. like, I, I, I feel like people in Britain weren't taking like the pandemic seriously until pubs started closing down. Yeah. And that's that's like the real <laughs> shit right? the end of the world. <laughs> They're like, I sleep. I can't go to school or work, whatever. whatever. Pubs are closed. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it's a political agenda. <laughs> How dare they close the polls? <laughs> so like, that's, like, that's the exact moment it got political. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the polls closed down. <laughs> I can't believe these politicians have done this. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's it's supposed to be the first almost normal. 
Yeah, the almost, almost normal, normal concert. concert? Yeah. Okay, damn. Okay. If I know British people though, we fucking lie about anything to get into yeah. events and stuff. Uh, They'd be true. like, yeah, I've got a vaccine. Of course I've got a vaccine. Yeah, tell them, oh, my arm hurts. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> tell me if the pendulum weren't playing, I'd, I'd, I'd be <laughs> like, come on, like, you know. I know British people, come on, that's a fucking lie. There's yeah. no way. Come on, there is no fucking way. Come on, yeah. the, the amount of clubs with like 16 and 17 year olds yeah. with like the fake <laughs> IDs. Come on, there's the, the people are faking like their passport vaccines. Oh, 100%. Got vaccine passports or whatever. Like right? the fucking bouncers give a fuck. Yeah. <laughs> are you kidding me? True, <laughs> true. You could hand a fucking McDonald's like 10 coffee card of them as an ID. Yeah. They'd let you fuck it in the club in the UK. <laughs> to, be fair, to be fair though, if any country is probably going to do like a fully normal concert first, it's gonna be the US or the UK with yeah. how they're going. Yeah, I mean- I'd assume. Whether I mean, they should. <laughs> when they should, yeah. yeah. When they should is a different uh, question, yeah. but- I mean, yeah. from what I've heard from like, like third party information from all my, all my mates back there. It's the one thing that we've been doing well about about the uh, pandemic, which is the vaccine response, right? right. Which is just, it kind yeah, of makes just, sense. We which just fucking bought them all up. Fuck, <laughs> fuck, you, fuck you other countries. We used to have first world country <laughs> money. Yeah. Give us that shit. It's pretty tragic though. It's just like yeah. US, UK bought them all and then no yeah. one else gets it. Yeah, exactly. It's, like, fuck. it's pretty tragic really. Yeah. They, you know, cause you get it from the inside of the country. You're like, yeah, we're doing great. And then yeah. you don't really see it. It's like, oh yeah, of course you are. How's, the rest, how's the rest of the world doing? Yeah. Oh, fucking oh, fuck. That's oh, fucking like that. attitude, right? It's pretty yeah. tragic. True, right? true. That's what it is, I guess. <laughs> Money talks, oh well. Exactly, exactly. But uh, where have so, you guys been? What have you guys been doing in the meantime? Have you guys been traveling around? Have you been doing anything interesting? Well, before, before lockdown, before lockdown, from when we could travel in yeah. the little bits that we could, um, we recently just went camping. Oh, yeah. was, uh, I know. I said I couldn't come. I had yeah. other plans that I, I did really far in advance, and I was like, wait, mm, shit, yeah. I wanted to come camping with the yeah, boys. Yeah, so Gaunt, me, and like four of our friends went yeah. camping in the mountains of Shizuoka. Yeah, it was my, it was my first experience camping in Japan, and. Uh, <laughs> Definitely was a very different experience. If you've never been camping before, I recommend you go camping in Japan because mm. it is like Mario Kart baby mode camping. Yeah, right? it well, really you, is. You, you roughly described it to me, but you're saying there's like electricity. There's okay, okay. So, <laughs> let, so, so let, 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 let me tell you about this, right? So, um, I've only been camping, I think, once or twice else mm -hmm. in my life. Mm -hmm. Okay, so wait. Okay, I have to ask one question. Did okay. you get like a lot? What's that? Like a square. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. We, we had we, to we had to book it. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we, we, had, we had to there book a lot. Yeah, so my, yeah, so yeah. my only other experience camping has been just like in the middle of the fucking fields. Like I, I, I went on like a trip in Colorado where we just like rode horses for eight hours mm. and we camped literally in the middle of like the woods in Colorado. Yeah. That was like, that was what I thought. That it was sounds gonna be, fucking fantastic. It was fucking great. Yeah, That's yeah, what, I thought it was gonna be something similar. Yeah. So, uh, so I'm not that experienced camping. So I was, I asked, I asked the boys, so what should I be bringing, right? And so they, they, they give me the usual oh, sleeping bags, um, you know, tents, um, warm clothes and everything. And also like a power bank to charge your phone. Mm. So I came in with the expectations of, I need to buy a big fucking power bank because we're not gonna have any power there, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And um, we were camping for like two days. Yeah, yeah. This episode is sponsored by Boxu. Boys, get those disgusting American chips out of here because this episode is sponsored by Boxu, an authentic Japanese snack box subscription that sends you small delicious treats from Japan. This month, Boxu is kicking off summer with a tropical travels themed box. These snacks bring you flavors from down south in Kyushu and Okinawa with exotic flavors like native citrus and local seasonings. Now, if that doesn't sound fancy, I don't know what does. What do we got in the box, Gaunt? Well, let me tell you, we've got Shima Togodashi rice crackers and peanuts, Marui Chinsko Kobusu Nut Sable Cookie, and Perfect more. <laughs> Fuck. Nailed it. But guys, wait, there's more. This month's snack tea pairing is Higa Granny's San Pincha Jasmine Tea. These aren't like their competitors. Boxu partners with Japanese artisanal makers to bring you authentic flavors. We said it before, and we're gonna say it again. This is cross-cultural pollination like never before. So use our link and code TRASHTASTE10 in the description to get 10% off your own box suit now. Repeat customers get a theme box every month. Back to the episode. So a friend, Edo, he has this thing called like the Omni Charge. I can't remember the full name, but that it, it was it looked like a fucking battle station. I remember- It's he, not that big. It's kind of like no, this. No. Yeah, yeah. But like it, it was way bigger than any of the portable chargers I've ever seen. Yeah. And also like what sold me was that it had its own plug. So like you can plug like, outlet. so you, you like can plug- Like an AC adapter. Yeah, yeah. So, so you can plug an actual like power adapter to it, right? Mm. So I was like, I want something like that for a camping trip, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? So I asked Edo, oh, what's this thing called? So he calls, he says it's the Omni Charge. So I Google it on Amazon and unfortunately they're not selling on Amazon anymore. So I go to like the first link that's recommended mm. for like that search and 
Here's the thing about Amazon is that you see a charger, right? There's nothing to like quantify how th how big this charger is, right? <laughs> Just from the image, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, there's, there's not with dimensions, but I, yeah, I mean, you, might not, you might not look at them. Yeah, yeah sometimes yeah. it's like buried in a wall of like text. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's buried in a wall of text. So I just see this block, right? And I'm just like, it's probably around the same. I mean, it's recommended for me searching the Omni charger. Yeah. So it's probably about the same size, <laughs> right? <fucking> it. <laughs> I mean, it's probably around the same size. <laughs> I, I, like thinking back, like being like an electronic and electrical, ex electronic and electrical engineer, who got the masters, I should have seen like the, the amount of like charge it holds, <laughs> but I didn't look about at the amount of charge it holds. I yeah. just, I just, I was just like on like, um, fucking autopilot mode. I'm just like, okay, that looks good. Buy that. Okay. <laughs> so I wait a few days from all my camping equipment that I bought. Mm. Um, and this fucking massive package, like, um, I wish you brought it with you today. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I wish I did. I wish I did. This massive pack, this massive package gets delivered to my door. I'm, and I'm all right. Uh, don't, it's, everything's like boxed up. So I don't know what everything is. So the first thing I pick up, it's fucking heavy. It's this fucking brick. And my first thought was, oh no, have I bought like a sleeping bag that's just like 10 times heavier than I need it. You're right, right. And so I start unboxing it and I see this fucking brick just in my hands, right? <laughs> And I'm just like, what the fuck is this? What I I don't remember buying anything this heavy. Yeah. Turn it around, and it's the fucking charger. And I'm right. like, no way. This how, must be how a, big is it? This must be a mistake. Um, I, so, I think I have a photo of it. Let me so see. Joey Joey has a photo. It's on it's on screen right now. The photo of this brick that I got. I turn it around. I look at like the appliances that it can power, and it's just like, okay, so this can power phones. It can you know charge tablets. And then it says it can charge laptops. It can power a fucking mini fridge. <laughs> <laughs> right? okay, and, okay. and I'm just like, it can power a mini fridge, a microwave. And I'm just like, oh shit. What the fuck have I bought? These, right? the, this, he, this thing he bought, it literally is like, oh, I found it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this is like a fucking brick that That's I bought, like right? Two routers strapped together. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'm just like, what it's, the fuck it's am like a I- like Mac mini. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna be able to do with this. Cause like, I can't take that on a plane. Cause like, if I take that on a plane, the TSA probably thinks I'm gonna you're, bomb you're, the fucking plane. You're gonna get fucking arrested on Like that I'm plane. probably gonna be on the fucking ISIS list if I take this on a plane. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So I can't even, so I'm just thinking to myself, all right, I've made guys, I've made a mistake, <laughs> but it's okay. Cause at least I can use it on this camping trip. Yeah. So like I lug this massive fucking brick in my suitcase or in my bag, sorry, which is probably like, like by itself, the heaviest single object in my bag for a camping trip. Yeah. Um, and so we get to this campsite and you know, we get, we get a lot and we start unpacking everything. And I see this metal box. Right, I see his metal box, and I was just like, "What the fuck is that metal box?" My first thought was, "Oh, it's probably like a safe they provided, right?" Because mm. like, you know, I, I hear about some American campsites having like bear safes or something. Uh. So I was thinking, "Oh, it might be a safe or something." Um, and so <laughs> I was like, "Nabi, what's that?" And he's just like, "Just wait, gun. Let me show you." He opens it up, and it's a fucking power outlet. <laughs> <laughs> so like, yes. Two power hours just sticking yeah. out like that. I'm just like, uh, yes, camping with my power up. Yeah, right. And I'm just like, so wait, there's literally no fucking reason for me to buy this fucking brick and lug this around. I can't take it anywhere. Can't take it on a plane. And apparently, it's useful. For, and it's apparently it's useless for a camping trip. What the fuck do I need this for? You literally, I, I looked at that thing and I'm like, that's what people use for like emergencies. <laughs> like when like your house is flooded and you have no electricity and like, this is the thing yeah, that I'm powers just saying, your like, house for like a month. I'm just saying if Japan sinks ever happens, I'm fucking sorted, man. Yeah. You are like the top of the hierarchy. Like people are gonna be like fighting. Like, like to, like, no, because I remember the, the first night he like charged his phone. Well, he was like, I might as well use this fucking thing I yeah. bought. So he charged his phone, right? It was like a hundred percent. Next morning, phone is fully charged. 97%. <laughs> He's 3% of his charge to power his phone. I'm like, this thing could last you like literally like two months. Yeah, I, I literally- it's insane. I literally bought it just so I could recharge my phone during, during the duration Doesn't of the camping trip. Doesn't it have its own like ventilation like yeah, 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 yeah. I, 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 knew, I knew it was like fucking way too overkill. When I opened it up, it had a vent that had like a fan. That, yeah, 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 he, turned it on, he turned it on and literally started going <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, this well, thing's- Well, yeah, so 3% power of the fucking fan, probably. Yeah, 1% yeah. probably charged the fucking phone. <laughs>
<laughs> it's so funny. Yeah, but j- like I've been camping quite a bit in Australia. Like my dad and I used to go mm. camping all the fucking time. I don't want to yeah. fucking camp with a power outlet. What the fuck? Yeah, exactly. But like I, I realized, okay, Japan does not know how to go camping mm. uh. because like it really is. Ba- yeah, it, it, we, it really is baby mode on Mario Kart. So we, we saw some of like, like, so like we had like some relatively small tents, right? Did we you have neighbors? Yeah, we had neighbors. Oh my God. Yeah, that's, yeah that's, that's the thing that really put me off. Cause I thought we- it but, just, it was, but it was one lot apart, so there was social distancing. <laughs> it was one lot apart, it was social distancing. Are you but we, me? Yeah, but yeah. we, we, we I had bet, I bet we they had can neighbors. fucking hear you far. No, like, exactly. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Like one, one, thing I, one thing I learned about a tent is that it's just not noise proof at all. No. You can hear fucking everything. Literally, I remember we were sleeping and I just, I could hear like the other tent fucking farting in the background. <laughs> and I'm just like, okay. Who was that? Was it you, Nabby? Okay, whatever. But like some of these tents that these people bought, they weren't fucking tents. So some of our neighbors, right? Um, one one lot, like like two lots down from us, they they start unpacking this tent, right? And then they this tent has fucking compartments, right? And then not only that, you you I remember walking past. They had an entrance, right? Mm-hmm. They had an entrance that had lights on the entrance. Okay, mm. and I mean, within, like fairy lights. And this tent had like two fucking bedrooms, a living room. Oh, my, and, par- my parents had a tent tent like that. Yeah, and it has- Is that even a tent though? <laughs> yeah, it's like a family tent. It's just a pop-up apartment. Yeah, yeah but it's like yeah, a family tent. So I'm, get- just, I'm just like, this isn't a tent. This is a two LDK. Bro, those, like, those tents are a fucking nightmare to set up. <laughs> yeah, opinion, well, yeah. but that's the thing, right? It's like, I get it if it was a family. But mm-hmm. this was a couple. This is a couple. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. and like their tent. Well, it's because you're a Japanese couple, so naturally you're not going to sleep in the same bed. No, no, exactly. Exactly. Of, course. <laughs> of course. I was, I was getting to that because this, this, like this tent had carpet, had shelves, and I'm just like, uh, might, might as well just like bring a fucking caravan I mean, at this point. We, we take that, but we stayed for like three weeks. Uh, that so, makes sense right. if it's three yeah. weeks. They stayed, they stayed for a single night and like, of course, okay. So here's like a the- A single night? Yeah, yeah single a single night. night. They, so they came with us and they left them so, the so, so here's the premium Japanese couple experience <laughs> that I saw, right? So we walk past this tent, right? And of course this Japanese couple, you know, obviously very intimate Japanese couple to be going on a camping trip by themselves very together. Very intimate. Very intimate. So the peak Japanese couple experience was seeing the guy next to his car on a fucking gamer chair or something. And then seeing the girl on the other side of this massive tent on a hammock, both of them by themselves, not interacting. Premium <laughs> Japanese couple experience. I mean, isn't that love? <laughs> that's yeah, love. Knowing, when to, well, knowing when to ignore that's, each other. Yeah, that's love. No, I, I mean, I say it's a premium Japanese couple experience because the amount of times like we've gone to like onsens or ryokans or something. And like, it's just like us, the boys, and we're just surrounded by Japanese couples. Well, they don't talk to each other. Not talking no, to each they other. They don't talk to each just other. Just not interacting with each other. Couples that social distance together, stay <laughs> together, you know? <laughs> They're just social distancing, yeah? yeah. But like one, one part I couldn't fucking believe was um, with wood fire, right? Mm-hmm. So you had to like go to, or well, I mean, they had the option to go to like the, the, the reception, quote unquote, where you could buy pre-cut wood fire. Yeah, that's normally how it is. Right? Yeah. Like, so off, uh, yeah. Cause they don't want you to just put fucking Picking shit up around the area, and right? It. But like, but like, the thing is, I mean, that's what we can. That's yeah. what we did yeah. <laughs> because each bundle was like five hundred yen, uh, right? For like maybe for like a bundle. I mean, about it was. It big. wasn't about the price. It wasn't it, about the price because like this wood, because it's like pre-cut and clean and dry. Yeah, this thing burnt through like so fucking yeah. quickly. And yeah. I'm like, we're here for the entire day. We want this fire to keep going the entire day, right? Mm. Yeah. This thing is not going to last us the entire day. Yeah. So I just said, fuck it. And I just like went out into the bush and just grabbed some wood. And and yeah, Afra like, and Nabi had a hatchet and I'm like, give me that shit. Just fucking started like yeah, deforesting <laughs> this fucking forest. Fucking gaijin deforest. Yeah. No, 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 we, we wouldn't deforest the forest. They, they, were, they, were, already, they were already like- like bits of dead like trees of on dead the ground. Trees on the ground yeah, 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 that yeah, we, we just cut up. Um, yeah. and I didn't cut down any trees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Joey starts just fucking <laughs> animal crossing yeah. Yeah. This, this fucking campsite. Just like. <laughs> to emphasize, we didn't cut off any trees. We just cut off like some, some branches that had fallen yeah, down. We cut the re- logs into like sizable pieces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and brought them back to our campsite because that, that to me is the camping experience, yeah. right? We're out in the wilderness. We're like- <laughs> Yeah. You're like out here in like, uh, like a fucking swimming pool, treating it like Bear grills. <laughs> like, yeah. But that's the thing. It's like- I just, mean, We wanted to make the most out of it, honestly. Of it. Cause it's like, otherwise we would have had to spend like a like, hundred bucks for firewood. I'm like, fuck yeah. that. No, no, no. The- I mean, it's, it's not about a hundred bucks of firewood because yeah. it's just <laughs> like- It's about the money, Joey. It's about the experience. It is about the experience. Exactly. Like, 
literally. <laughs> I had so, I, the most amount of fun I had was going out into the bush, picking up some like dead trees and just bringing it back oh, and just chopping the shit out of them. That honestly, was the most fun. I'd be so fucking bored if I turned up and it's just like, I got like 10 neighbors. We got a power outlet. Yeah. yeah. Fuck, man. And it's like pre-packaged. It's like, here you go. Here's all the things oh, you need. Go, go yeah. have fun. Go fucking, mi- a, fuck, go, go fucking micro transactions with your camping experience, yeah. man. <laughs> Probably like bring you food if you want to. I know, I know some camping yeah. trips actually bring you meat. Like and a grill, yeah. if, you like, want, if you want to have food. I'm like, just stay at a hotel. The best yeah. part about camping, right, is when you all turn up, right, and then your one mate is like, boys, I brought bacon. And everyone's like, yes, let's go. He exactly. brought fucking perishable yeah. foods. What an idiot, but it works. <laughs> but like, I mean, and in the UK, you can just, there's a lot of places you can just kind of ask them. You're like, hey, can I camp on your land? And they were like, yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. And stuff like that. There's a lot of places where you can camp like- I mean, like, in Australia, there's like, you know, designated camping areas, but like, oh, that's good. it's first come, first serve. Oh, if, yeah. if it's full, then fuck off is somewhere Is there a place else. like that in Japan or is it all just regulated? It's campsite? all regulated. Oh, fuck, yeah. It's, so yeah. it's, I mean, it, it was fine for the experience it was, but I definitely preferred the camping experience I had in other countries. Cause yeah. it, it just, it just kind of didn't feel like camping. You know? I it, mean, there was that other couple next to us that brought a fucking TV. Oh, oh yeah. Honestly, on, I'd do it. I'd do it too. And they were like I'd, playing Smash Bros or whatever the fuck was. I'm like, hell just yeah. like, why are you even camping, dude? I mean, if you got a fucking plug, why not bring the 50? Uh, I guess so, oh, yeah. I guess so. Why not bring the 50 inch? Yeah, bro? I guess so. <laughs> like, <laughs> ridiculous. I was like, you, you'd think that these guys have been like permanently living there with how much shit they have. Too fair, I mean, I, I'd be tempted to bring like, you can get those like really shitty, uh, like 19 inch battery powered uh, monitors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Bring that, you know, bring, bring a But switch. there is nothing, the thing is, is like, because I've, you know, cause I've had a pretty fucking stressful week cause of the whole move thing. Oh, yeah. But yeah. It, so it's just so nice to just Jot. sit down and look at a fire for 12 hours and literally drink and talk about nothing. Yeah, it was the yeah, best true, fucking true, experience true. I had. That, 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 that is the best part yeah. of it. Yeah. Because like, cause I remember- Wait, who set up the tents? Um, um, we, we all did. did. We yeah. all did. Yeah. Did you, did you really? Did you all? Did yeah. you really? Yeah. No, we all did. We all did. Really? Because most of the time, it's we all did. It's like I watched. Well, the other our, guy our, 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 our tents really weren't that complicated, really? right? Because uh, it was our tent was literally just like a triangle. One of uh, one of those fucking. Yeah. It wasn't. Tents. It wasn't a fucking inflatable apartment. It, 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 it wasn't. It wasn't a two bedroom apartment. Yeah. You know? right? When I was uh, when I was like fifteen, I had the ones where you like you fucking throw it in the air and it's yeah. Poof. Yeah, like uh, like Nabby had one of those yeah. as well. Really but yeah. like uh, the ours- has to fold up though. Yeah. yeah. Ours was a bit more complicated and we still somehow fucked it up. <laughs> um, <laughs> because, so our, our tent was like, it's, it's, it's like not pre, I mean, it's kind of is pre-built, but we kind of have to like strengthen the, uh, the support, what, what, what the support beams that it yeah. comes with, right? <laughs> support. So what are they called? Like the, the structure? Poles. The, yeah, the poles, poles, yeah, the bone structure. I, I don't fucking know what it's. Just no, poles, it's just fucking poles. It's not, it wasn't a pole because it was like part of the tent, right? So this tent came with like support beams oh, that like supported yeah. the structure, right? And it was all just fucking poles. It's, ba- yeah. it's baby mode. Like I said, ba- baby, mo- baby mode tent mode. We, did, we literally didn't have to do anything. We just had to like fucking, we, well, we thought we didn't have to do anything, right? Because it all kind of like unfolded and we like put it mm. up. We, we just, we all we had to do was like put the pegs down. We thought, great, job done. Uh, we didn't know it was job done because when we were trying to sleep, when we, when, when we were, when me and Joey were trying to sleep, it just kept caving in, right? <laughs> because and it was also windy. It, as- it, it <laughs> was it was a windy it was ass. insanely windy. It was a windy ass night. So every like fucking hour, I'd get woken up by this tent just caving in and I just have to like bring the support pole <laughs> Up again, I'm just like, oh, That's for horrible. fuck's sake. And I, 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 I could hear Joey was like having trouble sleeping as well. And it was, I did not sleep at all that <laughs> night. And it was only when we were packing up that we took the cover off. And I was just like, at the top of the support beam, there was this label that said push. I was like, oh, why, why does this label say push? And I push it down and I just hear click. And everything <laughs> is like <laughs> solid as fuck. Like, it's like Transformers, everything just clicked <laughs> yeah, in the place. Yeah. I just hear this click and I was like, what was that click? Like and, then, and then I tried to like push push in the support beam. Did you not read like the manual or anything? No, no, no. <laughs> Clearly, uh, clearly we should have. I mean, it, it was a tent. I always give it a click, quick like, you know. Well, because like, like I'm not used over. to tents like that. I'm used to the ones where you have to like kind of connect yeah, all the yeah, poles yeah, together yeah, and yeah, do yeah, it yeah, yourself, yeah, right? Yeah. So I so I was like, oh cool, this is- Who, who bought the tents? Oh, Nabby did. Oh, yeah. okay. So okay. I was like, oh, I've never seen this kind of tent, but it seems easy enough. It literally just Some reason, pops out. Whenever you fucking do your friend's tent, it's like the biggest piece of shit <laughs> ever. It's like, it's like your tent, pristine, brand new. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. your friend's tent is literally like falling apart. The poles yeah. don't fucking connect. They're yeah. rusty as fuck. It's like, what do you do? What do you do to this tent? How did you put it in this bad condition? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But, I always had that. Yeah, that. But like that night, it was so fucking windy. I mean, the the day before, it was so fucking raining that 
we were just like, we're yeah. not, we're not camping out there. It's like a torrential thunderstorm out there. Yeah. So we're right. just gonna fucking, we just went to like a nearby Dorkan, but the, the next day though, when we actually went camping, it was fucking great. Yeah, it was a, it was a great experience. I remember Aki the next day, it was, Aki was like, so what did you guys talk about? And I just sat there, I was like, it doesn't matter what you talk Fuck, about. Fuck, what did I talk about? What, what, what's, what's talked about in camping stays in camping. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Don't like, that. It was clearly so unimportant that it didn't even retain in my memory. So all I remember is, ooh, a fire burn. <laughs> that's, that's all I remember from that camping trip. I just, I re- caveman instincts come out. I, yeah, I, I, re- I, re- I remember trying to start a fire for like a full hour. Uh, Cause like Nabby bought these flints. And I'm just like, <laughs> guys, guys, we've got a power outlet. He's like, like in a bear grill. <laughs> right, just like, get a fucking outlet. Like, yeah, no, and Edo <laughs> the entire time was standing there with a blowtorch. He's just like, ready when, you, ready ready when you are, ready when you are gone. <laughs> Why does he have a blowtorch? Like you fucking creme brulee on the yeah. campsite? What's going on? So, so there's just me like huddled around these like, this fucking moss trying to set that on fire. And like, I, I try I try setting like so many, like I, I try like getting some YouTube tutorials out. I try <laughs> this well, for like a full fucking hour. Torrential out. rain the day before, so all the wood's gonna be wet. And meanwhile, and I'm just like sitting there in like my game and champ, just playing Firestarter. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> come on, you got it. You got it, mate. Oh my God. <laughs> but it was so- I just wanted to play Bear Grylls, it man. Was like, I'm sorry. It was almost scary how enthusiastic Gaunt was to start a fire. He was just like, <laughs> you know, like, because like we got you make, there. You make it sound like a fucking, I'm a fucking casual arsonist. No, we got there, we you got, are, you are we got there, are. right? And uh, and we were like, all right, we, let's figure out what we're gonna do. All right, we got to set up a tent, you know, blah, blah, blah. All right, everybody help get all the stuff out. And Gans just kind of standing there like, I just, I, I just can't wait to start a fire. <laughs> that's what I'm like, that's what I'm like, that's, like, God, that's, a, that's how people become arsonists. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's, let's, let's not pretend that <laughs> the start of a camping trip is always when you are able to st- first start no, a fire. No, of course. That's, that's like, how, that's how you know the camping trip has but begun, I right? Knew, I, knew like from, I knew from how enthusiastic like you were. Gaunt's in the car lighting stuff I, on fire. I knew from how enthusiastic Gaunt was to start the fire. I was like, if I let this man start a fire, he's not gonna do anything else. <laughs> he's gonna stay next to that fire, fueling that bitch for like 12 hours. Who, who the fuck enjoys building a tent? Like. No, no one, no one actually enjoys building a tent. It's fiddly as fuck. Far off the time, you're trying to figure out how the instruction manuals work because they're like- the- You mean the instruction manual we didn't read? Yeah, exactly, right? Cause it's a fucking pain in the ass. You try to figure out like has somehow, somehow yeah. they've picked the images that make it like the least legible and like the least understandable to like figure out how yeah. to like build this tent. Sounds like you you took the monkey brain on the trip. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't need to come. There was already monkey brain Gaunt, there. Gaunt was very monkey brain around that fire. like. He was like, <laughs> I, 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 I need to feed him more. <laughs> I, I, I was single-handedly f- fueling that fire for like 12 hours. <laughs> this this fire went on for like 12 hours and I was the one like fueling it every time. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> I don't have to do anything. I'm just, God's just like assistant right here. Just like fueling well, it. We, we need to look for like an actual place where we can camp with like, like legit camp. Like legit camp? <laughs> like no, I, don't, I don't know no if we'll be able to find that. It's gonna be, no it's power gonna be. outlets. I don't know if we'll be able to find that in Japan. I'm sure we well, can well, find What was it. your camping experience like in England? In England, I didn't really go much in England. I went around like France mainly. Mm-hmm. A lot of the time in France though, like it was like campsites like that. Who'd you camp with? Uh, my family for the most part, but then uh, obviously cause we're in Wales. So it was really easy to mm. just camp for a weekend. Um, and it was normally you were just like in a, in a farmer's land. Just mm. in like yeah. some fucking random field. Oh, like land that someone owns. Yeah. Oh. You, cause you could just, cause they'd, they'd always know someone. You could just be like, oh, can we camp? And it, maybe it'd be like a ten or a night. Mm. Okay. Because they didn't really want anything. They were just like, don't just leave a mess. Just clean everything up. Oh, because you can't um, do that in Australia. It needs to be in like a like a national reserve. No, no, you can. Yeah. Actually, you, can you can do whatever you want on the land. Oh, so and easy. normally you're right next to woods and stuff. So mm. yeah, obviously there's no power outlets or anything, and you're yeah. probably a decent walk away from the car that you came in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it was just good fun though. I mean, you just normally just set up the tent. If you can get a fire going, go ahead, but it might be raining a fuck ton mm. and you might just have to start drinking beers in the tent. Like yeah. four of you squished in this tent, like, how are you guys doing? <laughs> All right, nice. Someone want to boil the kettle? Uh, we'll get some pot noodles going. Yeah. Uh, whatever whatever you do, we did like uh, uh, Duke of Edinburgh as well. We did that as well. Oh, yeah, so yeah, that yeah, was yeah. good fun as well. Yeah, because in Japan, you can't even like put a fire on the ground. You, yeah, you, you need, you need yeah, this you like need, fire you need to buy like a fire pit. Well, cause sometimes in some places you had to clean up after yourself and it was mm-hmm. easier to just bring something that you could wrap the, like all the ash in. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is like, I, I think we did that a few times. Cause it's just, cause if you have to clean it up, sometimes it's an absolute pain in the ass getting rid of all this ash. Well, because in Australia, all you did was just dig a hole. And then um, once, it, once you, you were do done that, with right? the ash, you just fill up that hole again. I mean, boom, it's good for the land, clean. but I mean, sometimes you can't, you can't do that in some places. Ah, true, true, true. So, but yeah, I mean, it, it's whatever. I just kind of like, it was never more than like two nights. It was always like a night, yeah. put the tent up, 
kind of get drunk. Yeah. Eat a lot of bacon in the morning, yeah. bacon sandwiches. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah two off. nights I feel is like the optimal camping time. Yeah, I'd yeah. say so. Yeah. Two nights is about right. It depends if you, cause you need something to do the second day. Yeah. Cause, cause the first night you, you, you're setting up, you're, you're having a few drinks. Mm. What do you do during the whole second day before you start drinking? You can't, you can't immediately get like, get, start drinking beers at like 11. I mean, that's what that's, we that's did. Kind of, that's kind of what we did. <laughs> I mean, I, you get, I guess you can, but then there's someone like driving, right? Oh, I don't know. I mean, I, I kind of want to do something. I don't know. Yeah. Well, you that's know, when you can bring the TV and connect it to the power hour. Right? Yeah. Well, cause it's something, if you go- like, who's got the switch? Cause if you go camp with British people, you know, and there's like four of you, mm. like a 24 pack, sorry, I spat so much there. A 24 pack won't last like more than a night. That's you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, how much beer are you bringing along for this thing, right? You can't do day drinking. That's like, you need like 40 beers at least for that yeah. whole experience. But I mean, I, that's why I like doing something. Mm. Uh, that's why I like- I'll, Well, I'll, I mean, we had, we brought like a pack of cards and like, you know, that kind of stuff. I mean, we never cracked them open. <laughs> we, we just left them there for like decoration. Yeah. I, I was just having too much fucking fun with the fire. Did you, <laughs> I, I was on so the fire next, duty I was the entire like, day. way too enthusiastic you, about the fire. <laughs> was this fire burning like 24 seven? Yeah. Well, not 24 seven. It was burning for like a good, like 14 hours. Jesus yeah. Christ, go on. You just mind, because we fucking adventured out and got yeah. all the wood, right? Yeah, that, was, that, was half, that was half the fun. Like, so just, what, did, what did you do the second day when, so you, you slept in the tent the first night? No, 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 we didn't, we didn't sleep in the tent oh, the first right. night because we, we got there like super, super early on the second day um, because we the missed- The first day we, was the, raining the, like crazy. Yeah, the first day we missed the day of camping. So we did what anyone do and just had a nice day in an yeah. onsen yeah. and slept at with a nice roof over our heads. Yeah. Um, and then we just went there the second day and we just basically stayed there all day. Yeah, we got there like yeah. 9 a.m. or something. Yeah. yeah, like super early in the morning. So it was like a full, full day. Because I was in like the area near you and the storm was fucking brutal. Oh mm. yeah, I mean, the awful. storm in Tokyo was brutal. Was yeah, 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 I don't know. I, I was like, I was kayaking, and then I was on the on like the the ocean kayaking, mm -hmm. and then the the guy who was with us was like, "Oh, there's a storm coming," and I was like, "I could, yeah, I could fucking hear it, I, yeah, like like yeah. rumbling yeah, everywhere." Yeah, yeah. yeah, and then suddenly I'm just like kayaking, just chilling, you know, nice weather, mm. and suddenly out of nowhere, like torrential rain starts right, pouring yeah, yeah. down. Just, just will not stop. It's fucking freezing as well, mm. man. Yeah, it was like. I literally felt like I was at the at Shawshank Redemption when he's crawling through the tunnel of shit <laughs> with that, like the rain. It was like that bad. And I'm like, I'm like, I feel like I'm crawling through the shit trying to get back to shore because I'm freezing right yeah, now. Yeah. And I'm fucking like, ah! <laughs> Wish I was camping instead at that point. But it was really good fun kayaking until that started. It was oh, good yeah. fun. Good fun. God, I haven't, been, I haven't been kayaking. I've never been kayaking in the ocean, I don't think. I've been, no. ki I've been kayaking on like rivers and mm. lakes and stuff like that, but I don't think I've ever been kayaking it's in the fun. ocean. It's good fun. chill. It's, it's really it seems relaxing. a lot scarier. Nah, I know it's, it's, some, right. it's something about the ocean just scares me, you know. <laughs> it's no, I mean, the, like the 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 ocean is just scary, right? It's it's uh, a scary place. Normally, like normally, a lot of these things, you know, unless you own your own kayak and stuff, you mm. can't just go and do it. If you're renting, there's normally always a guide who comes with you. Who oh yeah, yeah. You. make sure you don't. Fuck but if it's a lake, drown. like fucking, you know, whatever. Yeah. Like because I was I was in like a group with a bunch of Japanese people, and like one of them just like capsized. I'm like, how the fuck did you manage that? <laughs> Well, like, did on purpose. He just right. flipped his boat yeah. and was like in the middle of the ocean. I'm like, how the fuck's he gonna get back in? Like, <laughs> he got back in somehow, but my yeah. God, that man must've been freezing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I, I had like my phone on me as well. I was like, I'm not capsizing. I'm yeah, yeah, fuck that. Well, you brought your phone on you? Yeah, I was like- On a pictures. kayaking trip in the middle of the fucking ocean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I sent you a picture of the snake. Oh, that was that was on the ocean. I was on the so I was like going. We were kayaking past like rocks and like so you, the whole mm. this the, like I was doing this kind of thing where you could kayak around like rocks. Yeah, and like uh, like you go through like caves and stuff <laughs> kayaking. Mm -hmm. And there was just this like fucking snake just chilling, like some kind of like, this is like the, the entrance to death. And I was like, fuck, get a quick fucking like, 4K pick of that. <laughs> Whipped out my phone and, and started taking pics. Caught in 4K. Yeah, caught cool. in 4K. Caught <laughs> cool the fucking snake. Yeah, it was good fun. Yeah, we but, saw- yeah, we, I wish, yeah, I went, we, uh, I wish I could go camping with you guys. Well, Jeez. I mean, yeah, we definitely want to go, but yeah. I mean, I saw, you know, you know, Gon and I still have all the stuff with us. Yeah, so I'm just yeah. like, we definitely want to do that again. You're gonna, you're gonna get a driving license now, Gon? Yeah, mm -hmm. honestly, mm -hmm. honestly, this camping mm -hmm. trip single-handedly convinced me to get a driving license. Cause uh, we were, did, like the drive to this camping, oh, to this campsite it? was fucking beautiful. We were driving yeah. up these mountains. The weather was perfect. Dude, yeah. the moment yeah. you leave Tokyo, the views get like insane. Yeah. So like, it's 100%. like, you always want to drive in Japan. Cause you're like, I can't wait to see the views. All yeah. of the, all of the service stations are amazing. 
like the food you can get at the service stations here are insane. Really? Like right. when, when you stop at the service stations in the UK, I don't know about America, like on like motorways or um, what are they called in the US? Uh, highways? highways. Highways. You know, when you stop at them to break, it's like what? Like McDonald's, KFC. It's mm. like, I don't want to stop. When you stop in Japan, it's like you can get like- Oh, the service area. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. yeah. You yeah, can yeah, get yeah. like ramen, curry, yeah, sushi, yeah. all like fresh as fuck. And it's just, it's so good. And it's like, well, of course I want to stop because I want to get my coffee. Well, the, the one we I mean, stopped at had like a full on like fucking, it was like a mall. It was yeah. nuts. At the service area. And you, and you get really crazy. good fucking food. Yeah. Well, no, that's because like sushi, ramen, all that, that's just fast food here, right? It's crazy. It's <laughs> yeah. such good quality as well. Like I'm, I'm out here and I, there's like a Yoshinoya at the service station. I'm yeah. like, yeah. it's 10 a.m. I'm gonna have a y- y- Yoshinoya beef bowl. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, the I'm one sorry. we stopped at had like a fucking like Starbucks and like, yeah, yeah. yeah like a whole like, uh, it was it was like a, almost like an anime sh- shop, wasn't it? That yeah. was like oh selling yeah, like anime yeah. They were playing, randomly. They, they were saying like initial D merch. Oh, it's so also good. Like, you stop, you get that fat meal, you grab that coffee, you start playing the music on the car. You're yeah, literally yeah. driving with the Mount Fuji view, clear as day, fuck you, Chris. Yeah. It's great. You know, it's, <laughs> Is you can't beat it. Yeah we, got, yeah, we got an insane view of Fuji. Cause, cause that's, that yeah, day, yeah, cause that's the thing about Japan, right? Like everything's here, everything here is so aesthetic. I mean, even, <laughs> like, you like, like even looking at Mount Fuji, right? You look yeah. at Mount Fuji and I'm just like, man, God really pat himself on the back when he made that man. Yeah. Like Jesus Christ, like Mount Fuji like is just like, work. <laughs> Mount Fuji, like you, you know, you talk, you talk about Mount Everest or whatever being like the highest mountains or something. Fuji is like the most photogenic mountain. It is the I've most ever picturesque mountain, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the best spot as well. Yeah. yeah. It's so good, man. And then like everyone's so nice driving on the like the expressways and stuff here and like not the roads. Like it's so yeah. chill. It's, it's pretty hard to find like an asshole driver in Japan. It's, yeah, everyone's so nice. I was like, no, 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 you go ahead. Go yeah. ahead. <laughs> you know, everyone's really nice, you know? Yeah. It's super chill driving. It's it's like driving easy mode and you get like all the best. It's just great. Everything's baby mode here, man. So yeah. now gone, you gotta go through the hell of getting yeah, your that's license the changed. Thing. And then I you're d- like I didn't have a reason to uh, drive. Uh, or to want to drive, yeah. and uh, now yeah. I do. Because and then the quicker you get it as well, you can get rid of those fucking rookie things that they have on there. Rookie things? Yeah. Oh, like the, the stickers? F- yeah, oh, the for the stickers. first year of when you get your license, even though you've driven in other countries, you have to get these like rookie stickers mm. on your front and back. It's I like know. a provisional kind of sticker. Yeah, I, don't, I don't like it. <laughs> it's a pain having to remember them all the time. <laughs> yeah. Right. Bring them along with you. You're like, oh, yeah. sorry, gotta bring my stickers. Gotta put them on. <laughs> Sorry, I interrupted you. I I can't remember what I was saying, but I I guess the only thing I remember is like, I am not looking forward to doing more paperwork, which is uh, what I'm going to be doing a lot of this year. Japan, as you know, Japan is like the never ending cesspool of paperwork. Get the paper done, paperwork done when it's not stressful. So that when you when that's, you that's a, that that doesn't no, 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 happen. No, no, no. <laughs> because, that's a trick question. If you're if you you got shit happening, you're busy. The last thing you want to do is lose a day. Like if sure. you have the time to lose a day, do it now when you can. Right. Like that's why I did it. Bold of you ago. to assume that we just have a day to yeah. lose. I don't have a day, but I had a day where <laughs> like it wasn't that bad if I lost it. Right. Because there like you know when when I eventually move uh, at the end of the year, you know it's gonna be fucking hell. Yeah. And I, I'm not gonna want to lose a day. <laughs> so it's fucking. It's gonna be more just, than yeah, a day. I just, like, just get it now. God. It's not about losing a day. <clears throat> it's about losing a day to paperwork. Like, I, I, it's, 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 it's hard never to, it, gonna be good. So just I fucking know. Do it. I mean, it's it's just finding. It's not <laughs> even the motivation, but just like. I, every time I wake up, I'm just like, maybe today's the day, and today's never the day. There's like a, there's like a Denny's near the place as well, so you should be fine. There's like a Coco's Diner. Yeah, just <laughs> exactly. This episode is sponsored by Gamer Subs. One word, gamers. <laughs> Two words, gamer gamers. Subs. <laughs> Four words, gamer subs waifu cups. That's right. Let's go. Bars. Gamer Subs Subs is a healthier and more cost-effective alternative to soda or sugary drinks. Every waifu cups, as you can see here, we and the boys are rocking our waifu cups, comes with a free sample of Gamer Subs. That's right here, holding it in God's hand, designed to be the perfect gaming drink. And it'll help you stay awake for an anime binge because I can't stay awake without my Gamer Subs injected in my veins. Ah! And gentlemen, here's the best part. If you guys support us, then you never know. We might get our own flavor of Gamer Subs down the road. Hell yeah. Let us know what flavor we should make if we get the chance. As you gentlemen will now see, I've added my Gamer Subs to my Gamer Drink, and now the boobs will take the color, as I'm being told. Um, (laughs) And it looks delightful. The Gamer Subs taste great, are much healthier than energy drinks, only cost 35 cents per serving, but they're going fast. What are you waiting for? Get your Gamer Subs. Come on, what are you waiting for? Get your waifu cups. What are you doing? Come on! That's right, what are you waiting for? Buy some waifu cups, buy some waifu shirts, and buy some waifu candy at gamersubs.com and use code TRASHTASTE. The more you buy, the quicker you can get your waifu. So what are you waiting for? 
Go get your gamer subs, waifu cups, bars. I'll see you guys at the checkout. Back to the episode. Speaking of leisurely activities, uh, you guys went snowboarding. Ages. Like, yeah, ages year, ago. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I don't think we talked about that on the podcast yet. I don't think we have. No, yeah. it was uh, my- Because I couldn't go to that one. Yeah, it was yeah. my very first experience snowboarding. Mm. And I, how yeah. was that? <laughs> It was okay. So this, this we I, obviously we I went before. Like we remembered that the reason I wanted to try out snowboarding was purely because of SSX, SSX tricky, tricky. and yeah. snowboard kids on the N64. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I had the choice between going snowboarding and going skiing, and mm. I'm just like. 100% snowboarding. Yeah, I want that SSX <laughs> tricky. Because <then. laughs> yeah, everyone told me that it's like way harder to start snowboarding. Like yeah. it, it's mm. like beginners find it easier to ski, but it's like harder to master. Yeah. Whereas snowboarding is harder to get into, but easier, easier to, to master. master. From yeah. what I am, from yeah, what roughly, I've heard. Roughly, I, 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 I think that's true, yeah. Yeah, and I guess like, so, my first experience snowboarding was that it was, okay, I, I didn't realize how much I took for granted friction in my <laughs> life, okay? Like I-, I, I like, How so gone, how so? How so? <laughs> like I remember the first time, um, so we got all dressed up. I put on all the kit and everything, yeah. uh, put, on, put on the snowboard on like one shoe or one foot or however like you foot. lock yourself in. Mm, yeah. And then, so my first mission, was to walk from where I put my snowboard on to the ski lift. Yeah. I remember trying to take trying to take my first step, immediately slip, and I was just like, "This is a, this is a bit of a challenge, isn't it?" <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so you're telling me I'm going to have to go down a fucking hill when I can't even take a single step? <laughs> because it's the type of movement you'd never do otherwise. It just right? seems it just it's so unnatural. Yeah. Right. And um, so I fucking waddle my way over to the ski lift. Yeah. Did right. you have your snowboard on or is it like like you're carrying a snowboard? No, I had my snowboard on. I think you had the one one boot in, right? Oh, you had the yeah. one, one boot in? I had, yeah. I had the one uh, boot in, right? Because we, we yeah. walked over to like, like- Kind of hobbling like that. Yeah, we, right? we yeah. walked over to the beginner's, be, uh, beginner ski lift mm. and uh, I was with uh, Sydney and Maylin and Maylin's partner. And mm. <laughs> and um, Maylin was not having a good time. Yeah, Maylin Mel wasn't having a good time either. <laughs> um, so only one of us knew how to snowboard. <laughs> and so only one of us was like showing us how it was done. And Maylin, Maylin knows how to ski, but this was her first time trying to snowboard either right. uh, as well. So we, we were, I, I, at least I had a, like a fellow novice with me, right? <laughs> <laughs> So and, I'm not the only one. <laughs> and so we waddle over to this uh, ski lift, mm. right? And so to go th to go through the gates, we have to like, you know, scan ourselves in, yeah, yeah. right? And I like, the problem with being like having this big snowboard on you is that once I start like taking a step, sometimes I don't know how to stop, right? So there was, <laughs> so there was this fucking kid in front of me, right? There was this kid, yeah, yeah, yeah. fucking pro snowboarder, like yeah. easily goes through the gate. I like go through the gate, Take my first step, and I swear to God, I almost, I almost fall on this kid. <laughs> almost I, took I, a kid out. Yeah, I almost took out this fucking <laughs> five-year-old in front of me. <laughs> Frankly, had it coming. Yeah. Had it coming. Luckily, like, luckily, Mackie just like grabbed me before like I fell on this kid. I was like, <laughs> God, I'm. I and th at this point, I hadn't even got onto the ski lift. Yeah. Um, and so. That's, um, the, that's the first step. That's, isn't that's it? the first step. Yeah, right? I think I, I was on my way and I was texting Garland. Like, How's it going? How's it going? He's like, it's it's hard. Yeah. <laughs> it's really hard. It's hard. It's fucking it's, hard. It's, it's it's really it's really. <laughs> Wait, when was that? <laughs> oh yeah, I I, I, yeah. I tumbled with a lot of times. See, um, it's, it's, we'll, it, we'll we'll get to that. It's it's really difficult to fall face. First up with skis. Yeah. Because yeah. you how the fuck are you gonna do that? Yeah. yeah. Snowboard is very easy. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's almost guaranteed you're gonna yeah. fall face yeah. first yeah. on a snowboard. Yeah, Karen, Karen, yeah, tell so, us about your story. Okay, so I, I no, I waddle my my waddle my way to the ski lift. Mm. And I've never, obviously this is my first time on the ski lift. I've never like, I, I don't know what the right technique is or like how to like, you, cause you don't think about this thing, right? Yeah, you yeah, think yeah. walking, easy. One one foot forward, next foot forward. It was like, it was like I was a baby trying to figure out how to walk again, right? right? right. So I'm, I'm, I'm like, it, it's taking like all of my mental energy just to figure out how to stay on two feet. Right. And then I, so the person tells me to like, go to this point here where the ski lift is going to go and like take you up. 
And I'm just thinking, this is, this is like, this is like, I, I, I've I, never like he, panicked before <laughs> trying to figure out how to waddle like literally <laughs> one meter forward. To be fair, yeah, that, that, it was probably a bit mean of him to make you get on a fucking ski lift. <laughs> yeah, like the right? first thing. <laughs> you should have just gone like walked up the hill a little bit and just try to go yeah. down. But or yeah. at least get on the ski lift holding your snowboard, right? Yeah. Can very, you do that? Yeah, yes, you can do that. Do yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. But clearly <laughs> no one Millie, told you that you could do that. <laughs> Millie's husband was like, nah, trial by fire. <laughs> <laughs> will, will be the option, yeah. I think. Okay, I didn't, I, yeah, I, I literally didn't normally, know that was an normally, option. Normally, yeah, you are supposed oh. to, when you're with like beginners on snowboard, what you make them do is you just kind of make them walk up a hill. Yeah. yeah. Like a very, very like not steep hill. Yeah. yeah. And just kind of make them like go down yeah. like yeah. straight, like uh, like, uh, yeah. like like horizontal. Horizontal, yeah. yeah. Uh, perpendicular, sorry, yeah. to the slope. Uh, but. That was very much a, <laughs> wow, okay. Mike yeah. is like, yeah, fuck that, I'm on the ski lift right so, now. So I, I was, I was kind of like, um, I was kind of like, a, like a fucking animal looking over the edge, being like, <laughs> okay, okay, gotta go, gotta go. No, don't wanna go. Okay, let's go now. And uh, so I'm like, I, I say a waddle. Um, it, this was like me f trying to fucking ice skate over to, to like one meter ahead of me and just stay still enough for the ski lift to like lift my butt up yeah. and go up. So. Managed to do that, luckily, without without any big, massive incidents. But then okay. comes the next step. But then, <laughs> and, and how do you get down? I, I, how do you get off it? I was having a great time. I was like, okay, you know what? This fuck it, this fucking slaps. Look at this view. Look yeah. at this. Like, I'm, I'm having a great fucking time. It's like being it's like being on a being on a roller coaster. You know, when you when you're going yeah, up, and you just yeah, enjoying yeah. the view. It's peaceful. I'm just like, okay, I can get into snowboarding. Um, and then I, I can get into snowboarding. I, I can get into snowboarding. <laughs> this, this, is, this, <laughs> is, this, is, this is pretty. This is pretty cool. Um, and then I get, and then I see um, where the exit is, and it's it's it gets closer and closer, and then it slowly dawns on me. How do I get off? Oh, I need how, to get off. How this. do I how do I exit this <laughs> seat that I'm currently <laughs> sitting on right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I see I see the kid in front of me gets off no problem at all, and right. I'm just like that looks easy. That looks easy. I just I just you know I just use the momentum that the seat is carrying me through, yeah. and I just, just get off slide down, and just right? and just slide off yeah. right. And I'm just like cool. I'm like I'm like I'm like shadow boxing right because I'm just I'm just like visualizing this in my head. <laughs> I'm just like how hard can this possibly be? Right. right? How hard can this possibly be? This is like be? gone in the shower. Psyching <laughs> yeah. Yeah, up. Yeah. I was literally psyching myself up, <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like sure I can do that. Like if if a five year old kid can do it, then I can do it. Yeah. And so literally the first thing that happens is um the the lift goes up it starts slowing down i'm like brilliant i'm not i'm not even gonna need to do this at full speed it's going at like 0.1 <laughs> meters per second you off, like. <laughs> <laughs> i had no idea right i i i, th I thought i thought you just had to use the momentum to just ski off i had no, <laughs> no fucking clue but honestly i think i would have preferred that because now i had zero momentum and i'm just like shit how do i position my feet right and by the time i get to the point where i need mm. to get off i hadn't figured out how i was going to do this yeah. so literally the first thing that happens is I'm, i just like I put both feet down. I literally what, tried horizontal? to- Horizontal? Huh? Horizontal. Like that. Yeah, like that. <laughs> so, so I was just like, I was like, okay. So I was like- First like, mistake. <laughs> I, I, was, I, was, I was like, okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put both feet down, twist, and then put one of my no, foot on, no. the, on, on, on the snowboard and just slightly and just breezily just like slide down. Yeah. Um, so that, so obviously, Obviously that didn't work right, out. Yeah. But first, uh, what I did was I put first two feet down, yeah. stood up, immediate face plant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because there's this thing behind you that's pushing you forward. So you're just gonna go boop. <laughs> yeah, you gotta like shimmy to the side like this. Yeah, you gotta shimmy yeah. like yeah. that and then kind On of the just seat. go yeah, down like that. Like yeah. You know, it, it would be nice if someone was there to teach me how <laughs> it was done. I would not have done that to you uh, if yeah. I was there. I would have told you how they have done it. But the thing is, here, here's the thing, right? We, uh, we apparently went on the, Beginner slope, right? <laughs> <laughs> and that, that was, lie. yeah, that, that was that that was like there was no way that this was the fucking beginner <laughs> slope. And we found out afterwards um, on the second day because me and Maylin, um, we 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 weren't having a great time trying to go down this <laughs> beginner <laughs> slope. And apparently, we found on the next day that there was a slope that was dedicated to like people's first time trying snowboarding. Right, right. No, right. we didn't go on that one. We went, to, we went on the fucking beginner slope, which was people who had already been experienced enough to go down hills. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> and so it was me, Maylin, Sydney, and Maki at the top of this hill. Maki just fucking bolts it down already, yeah. right? <laughs> and, and so- Screaming at us. Yeah. You're in a 
power. <laughs> yeah, Vacu is really fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> he was getting like legitimately like frustrated. Oh my God. They were like bad. Yeah. yeah. It was very funny. Just and be like, good, just get good. He was like, what do you mean? Just just go down, yeah. just go down. <laughs> just go straight, it's not hard. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Marky goes down first and tries to like goad the rest of us into going down. Mm. I'm just like, you know what guys? I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do a pro gamer move and I'm just gonna go down. Right. Immediately just start tumbling fucking down. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I, I must have like front flip five fucking Some times like going fucking down. Looney too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, damn. Snow does like in my mind. I thought Snow's gonna cushion the fall, and I'm just like, man, this hurts way more than I thought it was going to do. It does cushion, <laughs> but like thirty percent. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It's, because all of the snow that you're, you're like snowboarding on has yeah. been like plowed, so yeah. it's compacted. It's like jumping off your bed onto yeah. a very flat pillow. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, like, yeah it'll yeah, cushion yeah. you, but to what extent? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm just like, I'm just like, I, I, I had this image in my mind that I was just like, oh, it's just like falling on- I'm just on. tumble, yeah. It's, like, oh. it's just like falling on clouds. And I remember <laughs> this first, because, and because of that, I like, when I first went down, I, I did not hold back as well. I just like fucking went as fast as I can, not realizing that- Jesus Christ. Not realizing that I, I, I didn't know how to break. <laughs> and so, and so quickly, I kind of, before I, before I learned how to break, um, I quickly realized that the easiest way to break was just to fall down. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what they teach you at first, right? It's like to fall down probably. I mean, there's a reason why the, like when you, if you start young, particularly in skiing and snowboarding, you're gonna be really fucking like, you're gonna be so much better than somebody learned later on. Just yeah. because like when you're a kid, you're fearless. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, you, yeah. Kids don't fucking know danger. No, like, yeah. so they, when I was a kid, I was, I was going way too fast mm, and yeah, I would just yeah. go straight down because I was fucking stupid. And yeah. I, that's what like, I was just like, this is fun. I love yeah. going like a hundred miles per hour. This, yeah. this is a good idea. Yeah, <laughs> that's, how, that's how people die. There is no danger here. Yeah, you know? yeah. that, that's when you're an adult, oh. it's a lot harder, but like, yeah, yeah. You, you, you fall over once and you're like, holy shit, this hurts. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not doing that again, fuck that. <laughs> and so Malian and Sydney see me fucking tumbling down this hill. And then I look up and Marky's like, all right, your turn now. And they're just like, no, <laughs> no, I don't think I will. And, and so they start like getting on their butts and just like sliding down, and just like slowly sliding down. And Mark is like, "No, come on, guys, come on, get up, just get, get up. good, get up, just slide." I have to go. Obviously, because I learned young, and uh, I was very fortunate, very lucky, very privileged to be able to learn, you yeah. know, how to ski and snowboard at a young age. Yeah. The one thing that kind of like, I don't mind doing it because I'd rather go with my friends than not, but like yeah. it does suck having to wait like 30, 40 minutes. You go down a slope, it takes you 30 seconds. Yeah. You gotta wait 40 minutes for your friends to come down. And then you're like, right, let's go on the beginner one again. <laughs> so, let's do it again. So, so, <laughs> so Malian and Sydney are literally psyching themselves up on this hill for like a good, like 40 minutes to an hour, right Malian? That they were, they were on this beginner hill. It's like this. Which oh, like, okay. Cause no, I was no. imagining like- No, no, it was, it was like that. Oh, it, fuck it was off. like no, that. It, it might've, it, no, it was, it was no, like it that. It might've felt like that, but it was no. probably like that. Okay, all I knew was that I, I stood up for a second and I started going way faster than I was comfortable with. <laughs> That was a, that was that's a, called a hill. So, <laughs> yeah, because at the ski resort we were at, one of the like the black diamond, one of them was like only thirty degrees. Oh, that's not even that bad. No, wasn't that which is like, which is like that? <laughs> it's like nothing. So realistically, it was probably like five uh, degrees. It was. It was I mean, it, okay, I get it because you can get a lot. Of, you can go pretty fast. It it feels. Like, especially when it you're not looks, used to that. When you can see the bottom, it looks way worse yeah, than it is. Yeah, 100%, 100%. Anyway, come on, go I on. don't know, man. It, it, it it fair, go on, go on. <laughs> it, it, uh, well, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. It, was, okay, it, it, was, it was the first time for you, so I get the, it. The, I get begin, it. the beginning of the hill was like quite steep, but then you got around to the middle part, which is the actual, which I feel was the actual beginner slope, right? <laughs> because this, this hill obviously wasn't even in like, What's, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? Altitude? Al uh, slope. Slope, slope, slope. Gradient. angle. Gradient, gradient, yeah. that's that's it. It wasn't equal in gradient. Everywhere. So like the best part to learn on this beginner hill was like right in like the middle of this course. Oh, this is the part where he went like uh, in like around like that, like did like a loop-de-loop. -loop. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the best part to learn was actually in the in the middle part, which is 
how I learned how to like control my speed. And turn. Yeah, and turn. Because I, I, I had two, like going down this hill for the first time, I had two speeds. It was go and tumble. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that was the two speeds that I had. So um, so I, <laughs> while waiting for Sydney and Naylin, Gua went on YouTube and started like, <laughs> started looking at some tutorials Shit, how, about- How to snowboard. On the slope. <laughs> yeah, on the slope about how to snowboard. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to be that guy who like slope, who like slides past uh, you. And I'm just like, what's this guy doing? Um, oh. oh. <laughs> yeah, cause the, the thing about Mackie is that he's a good snowboarder, but I don't think he knows how to explain how to snowboard. Cause I was asking Marky, Marky, what's the right, what's the like the right technique? Yeah, to he's do very this? much just like, oh, just do it. Just go. Yeah. Yeah. Just he, go. He, it's, it's very much just, oh, you just, Go like this and like this, and then you, should, you know, you, you know, you, you know that clip of like that, like Australian surfer or not Australian, but just that surfer who's just like, and he goes, yeah, and he's just, that was kind and of he like pitted, so pitted. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that's that's kind of what I heard when I when Marky was trying to explain to me how to snowboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it was just like, oh, you just go like this, and then you turn like this, and then you control your speed like this, and I'm just like, Marky, you're just like showing yeah. me like different angles here. It means yeah. like, this means nothing. It, to it me. sucks because it's like. You have to learn to like put your body in the place where your body doesn't want to naturally be. Right, because like you have to put all your weight in your front foot, yeah. which means you're going to be leaning into the hill, which- Yeah, you lean into yeah. it, like, you don't want to do. Just naturally, you don't do that. Yeah, and then yeah. you're gonna like throw your body from side to side with your back yeah. leg and it's yeah. like, it's- it's, it is it's, a weird move. If you haven't done it before, it, it feels really unnatural, mm. like initially, because it's like, yeah. oh. And that's why the first time, like after you finish the next day, oh, you fucking oh, feel hurts. that because you're using yeah. all these muscles you've never used yeah, before. Yeah, I, 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 we actually had the snowboard thing, snowboarding trip for like two days, but mm. I could only go one day. Oh yeah, yeah, because yeah. the second day you were fucked, right? Oh, I was, I, I never felt more fucked in my life. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel that, yeah. <laughs> on, on this like beginner slope, I don't know which fucking sick fuck decided to do this, yeah. but I was like, that's funny, but also my God, on this beginner slope, right? It's like this very narrow kind of like, uh, like a hill going down, like winding, mm. yeah. right? And at the bottom of this this wind, the, the exit to it, someone had put poles, like a big X, and the and, and but it was open, right? So All you right. could go on it. But the only way that you could avoid these poles was to jump over them in the middle. <laughs> and they no, no, like, no, or, or go under them. Or right? go under them, which you weren't gonna do. Yeah. The, the gap okay, so the gap to jump over was like this, yeah. which isn't much. But yeah, yeah. when you're a beginner, or you even yeah. even if you're like your, your board is not coming off the snow. Yeah, right. it's hard to get if you're not experienced doing any kind of jump on a snowboard, yeah. lifting your board up yeah. for a considerable amount of time is unnatural They're and hard to do. Well. Yeah, it's heavy. Yeah. Yeah. It's like this, right? So there's no way you'll get, uh, maybe like this, right? Mm. Yeah, like this. It, was, it was like that. Off the ground. Yeah. And so I, I was like, all right, just jump over it, Gaunt. And so I, I went, I jumped over it and I, my board like just clipped it a little bit. Yeah. And I was like, oh shit. And I turn around, Gaunt fucking jumps, just fucking jumps. <laughs> Face splits. <laughs> I was like, I knew it was gonna happen, yeah. but it was funny. No, this, this, this was late in the day when I was like, I was like trying, I was like starting- getting the hang of it. Was getting I, was, the hang of it. I was like starting to get the feel of this, right? Um, and you know, I, I went the I went with the philosophy of just like I'm just gonna fall down and hopefully I'll like learn something new every Trial time I fire, fall right? down. Yeah, like there's only so many ways you can mm. fall down before you figure out a way to not fall down, yeah, right? Of course. Um, and so I remember seeing like I remember seeing these crosses in the in the <laughs> middle of like this course that I was going down with Connor. Yeah. I was, and I was like I, I fell down before and I was like Connor, what what do we do? What why do they have these here? <laughs> what is this? Yeah, what is this? I was like, I don't and they're like I don't know, just fucking jump over it or go under it, right? <laughs> just jump over it. No, cause like there were, there were two options. You can either like jump over it or you can like crouch super slow and like, uh, or sleep super low and just go under it, yeah. right? It was- Yeah, it's like, you couldn't really crouch under yeah, it. Yeah, like, yeah. It, you'd have to like lift them up and stop. It was, <laughs> it, I, don't know, I don't know why they were there. No one explained why they were there. The course is no. open, so they shouldn't have been there. Right. I'm not really sure. I guess yeah. someone just forgot to put it away. Right? I think so. I, it was really weird, but I was like sick, free jump test. Let's do it. <laughs> so I was like, I, by the time, by the time me and Connor were going now, I was getting, I was getting confident with myself. I was mm. like going a bit faster than I was before, you know, test limit testing myself. Yeah. And just as I did like this fucking sick turn, I was like, fuck yes, this it was, was amazing. Yeah. It was a good turn. Yeah, I, I, I did, I did like, I did like, I think the first clean turn right. of like my 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 trip down. Yeah, going front to like yeah. back. And, oh, and, no, I, right. and, and I could, I, could, I heard Connor being like, oh dude, fuck yeah, that was clean. I was like, fuck yeah. And then, and then I see, I see this X coming up, this pole coming up. And I'm just like, 
all right, pro gamer time. <laughs> I'm, 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 gonna, I'm gonna attempt a pro gamer right. move. I was like, let me, so, let me unlock 100 percent of my brain yeah, right yeah. now. I saw Connor do it, and I just had, you, you, yeah, I saw Connor do it, and I was just like, you know that scene in the Matrix where Morpheus just goes back to Neo, and it's just like, all you need to do is believe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the jump test, and I'm just like, oh, okay, Morpheus, I can do this. Yeah. <laughs> like, get close immediately. Like, immediately realize. I've jumped way too late. <laughs> and so- <laughs> I just jumped into it. And so it's not like even jumping over it. I just fucking jumped straight into it. <laughs> just face planted. Just it was so good. Plan. Cause oh, I, was basically, I was basically just following Garm with like my face backwards up to, he must've been so creeped out. I was just like just going backwards down the slope like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just checking, make sure what he was doing. And then, yeah, I just watched him go into it. It's so fucking funny. Oh Sorry. man! I, I I got Mackie back. I took I took Mackie down like this slope that was ridiculous. Mm, yeah. I was like, oh, because because they all stopped and Maylene quit, and I was like, all right, Mackie, let's go down. Yeah, yeah. Me, for the record, Maylene and Sydney quit because they're you weak. Were the first one to no, what, what? Maylin, no, it wasn't. <laughs> May, Maylin came, came back the second day. I was like, I'm returning, guys. It was like Lord of the Rings. So he came back finally. No. Maylin did like one slope oh, and was no. like, I'm done, guys. <laughs> and then left. <laughs> no, because Maylin, because because the, the Maylin, like, she also had the choice to snowboard or ski, yeah. right? And after about like one attempt on d going down this beginner slope on the snowboard, she quits and just tries skiing again. And, and then, then quick, because she was shit at it. Because she couldn't do it. <laughs> So skiing is easy, right, guys? <laughs> He's like, I know how to do it. Yeah. Couldn't do it. <laughs> yeah, I have the strength. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, That's what they all say. That's what they all say. If only you had the skis that first time around. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's like yeah, I can do it. Yeah, I, easy. I, I'm just I'm just holding back. Yeah. You know? just I goes, didn't want to show off. You yeah. know. <laughs> yeah. Then yeah. Bailey Bailey came back the next day. I was like, guys, because she only did like two slopes. Yeah. yeah. The first day, she was like, all right, I'm gonna come back and do snowboarding again. Yeah. I'm ready to try it. I can do it. <laughs> did like one thing and then I gave up. <laughs> But at least she did try again the second yeah, day. I, yeah, I, I, I did try again the second day actually because I remember. Um, so I, I went like f all out on the first day, mm. right? Yeah. I, I like because I remember I yeah, didn't. You were fucked. I was fucked. I didn't realize how tired I was because we we went down the slope like a bunch of times. I was there all day. Yeah, took a lot of tumbles on the first day, That's and I, I was I was so ready for the second day because I'm just like by the end of the first day I was just at the point when I was when I was getting the hang of it. Yeah, right? yeah. So I was like. Fuck yes, day two, let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I opened my eyes on day two and it was like, I, I felt like I was fucking got punched by Mike Tyson or something <laughs> like that, right? I like, I didn't realize that the thing that hurt the most was my neck. Oh, right? oh yeah, cause yeah. you've been hitting your neck a bunch. Yeah, 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 yeah cause, cause uh, the whiplash probably. Yeah, right, I didn't yeah. realize that whiplash was a thing with when you tumble that much, but <laughs> now I know that whiplash is definitely a thing. You should have got a helmet as well. <laughs> they didn't give you- Oh wait, you weren't wearing helmets? They didn't give him one no, for some reason. Oh, that's fucking dangerous. Jesus Christ. They didn't, they didn't give us helmets, I don't think. Oh uh, yeah, when I saw them without helmets, I was like, this is a terrible idea. Yeah. <laughs> like I can, I, I, I could, I could go a whole day without a helmet, but like if I was doing like hard stuff, I would be very oh, like, yeah, yeah. I would probably, I would, I would not go down like- I mean, if, I, if I went again, because last time I went snowboarding was like, fuck, yeah. like six yeah. years yeah. ago, yeah. I would definitely get a helmet. Just well, cause like, I mean, my I, body's I, not I, used to it, right? Yeah. I didn't really give a shit cause I was with these guys on like, like the green slopes and blue oh, slopes. Yeah, yeah, and I was like, yeah, yeah. Oh, fucking, it's fine. Yeah. But then yeah. like, if I went down, like I, I, I took a- If you went down to like a black diamond. Well, like, yeah, so yeah, I yeah. took Mackie down a black diamond. <laughs> I, I was like, oh, okay. So everyone everyone had left. And then it was Mackie who was the one calling them mm. a coward. And I was like, all right, it's time. Let's go and do it. Let's go and do a real one. And there's yeah. a, there a double black diamond, which I wanted to do. But so, I, to clarify, like black diamond is like the hardest type yeah, of course. Well, it's just like double black diamond, which is like the most extreme. Yeah. And I couldn't convince him to do that. Cause I think he was like, oh no, he's like, I'm good, but I'm not like that. I was like, all right, okay. I, I, like, I love good. how like something about snowboarding just turns every guy into a dude, bro. You yeah, know what I mean? Like yeah. I could just imagine like when Gunn did that <laughs> clean turn and Connor was like, yo, <laughs> I was proud. Because, like, what is it about it that like turns you into because, like a lad? Because you, you, want, you want your boy to enjoy it so that you could come back again. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like yeah. if it, I, when I'm bringing my friends, my biggest worry is that they will hate it from falling over too much and they don't want to do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because then I'm like, what? Do, I can't bring my friends again. Like yeah, yeah. We, can't go to the, we can't go to the Alps, you know? Yeah. We can't go to Italy, yeah. drink espressos, then hit the slopes, yeah, yeah, have yeah. a few bevies in Germany and hit the Alps, you know? They can't do that. That's yeah. what I want to do. Yeah. So, uh, and then I was like, yeah, I'm a, I, it, the, it's, it's just the boys now. It's just yeah. me and Mackie. I'm going to take him down to black. Yeah. And so I, man, I, I found one where I, that I, he definitely didn't want to do. I was like, come on, 
I'll stay. Come. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. <laughs> Knowing Marky, you can't say no, right? Yeah, he yeah, was yeah. like, ah. He's like, I wanted to do a hard slope, but like not this hard. I'm like, ah, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Literally like this slope, you can't see the bottom of it. Like oh, you can't shit. see over it yeah, until yeah, you right. start going down it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like that steep. Yeah. And then when I started going on it, I was like, oh, I think this is closed. <laughs> Cause it hadn't been treated at all. It was yeah. like all ice. Oh, and it was shit. all steep ice, yeah, yeah. like crevices. And like, it was so steep that when you like go off a little bit, you would just fall and hit yeah, in like yeah, a yeah. crevice of right. ice. It, was, it took all my fucking energy to get down this thing without falling over. Yeah, it's fucking terrifying. I was absolutely exhausted. I don't really get tired when I go on like blue or red ones because I don't really have to use that much work. I kind mm, of get yeah, lazy. Yeah. But on the really tough ones, the amount you're turning, you have to constantly turn and throw your body yeah. where it doesn't, the board is like, no, 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 we can't turn on this. It's too steep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You have to force it, otherwise you're going too fast. So I'm like, I'm like knackered. And then I look up and I see Maggie just, he gets up, fucking pop, like falls over, gets up, falls over, gets up, falls over. I was like, oh my God, Maylene's going to fuck kill me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Maylene thought I like killed him. She was like, oh my God, <laughs> oh my God. Ma Connor's gonna kill him. Yeah. Connor's gonna. Cause that was on the second day, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Day. Cause like uh, we, we went our separate ways on the second day because uh, you know, I woke up, felt like everything was aching. Mm. Everything felt like shit, yeah. but I, I was just like, no, I'm 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 a still go. I'm you're, a, so, I'm, you're still pumped, right? I'm a, I'm, a, I'm still pumped. Cause yeah. I really, really wanted the second day. So I was like, <laughs> oh, Easy, fight through the pain. What, it's just just a bit of muscle ache, right? You can get through a bit of muscle ache. So these guys go off to like a completely different course. Yeah, yeah there's like, like two sides of the mountain. Yeah, there was like mm. two sides of the mountain. So these guys go on a completely different course. And I'm just like, great. I'll just be left to my own devices. And by the end of this day, I'm going to conquer this beginner hill, yeah. right? Cause I, I, I felt like- Live to- <laughs> <laughs> So our, uh, Sydney had given up. By yeah. then, um, and everyone else was on this other hill. And on the second day, it was actually like almost empty compared to the first day. Cause mm. the first day was like, I think like, it was like a Sunday, wasn't it? Or like a Saturday? Uh, yeah, it must've been. It, I was, think. it was like a public holiday, I think. Right, right. And the second day wasn't a public holiday. So like the slopes were like, Almost empty. It was like right. perfect conditions as well. There was like a shit ton of snow and it was like yeah. perfectly clear. Oh, nice. The sun was out. It was like perfect. Nice, yeah. nice. Such good snow. So I, I, so I get up to the beginner slope on the second day, everything aching as fuck. And I'm just like, it's fine. All I need to do is like tumble once and I'll just like fight through the pain mm. and you know, get it, get it over with. <laughs> so like I, I go down, right? Uh, I, go, I started going down this beginner hill, get further than I did yesterday. Cause That's I was good. like, I'd gotten more used to it. Yeah. And then I tumble and I was like, all right. I, I'm like, you know, I expect this, but like I tumbled and I landed with my head like downhill. So right, like, right, so like right, I, right. I, I was, I was like downhill like this. Yeah. Right. And, um, and then I, I quickly realized, oh, how do I get up? <laughs> <laughs> right. Cause, cause my neck, my neck muscles were not working at that point. So I, I, I could not lift my neck to go like that. <laughs> I, I was not only like, lift, I was I was lifting it not only like, I, you know, ev even even when I was like perfectly flat, yeah. it was hard enough to lift my neck up. No, I was going against the hill as well to yeah. lift my neck up. So I quickly realized that I couldn't lift my neck up. <laughs> and I quickly realized how heavy my gear that I was yeah, wearing cause, was. Cause what, what I would do is just, I'd, if I'm face down, I just bring my board. I do like a flip. You back. can do a yeah. flip, but you can also kind of just like turn you your shimmy. body around, like shimmy your body around. If you want to be faster, you can just fucking yeah, yeah. Legs, yeah, yeah. Stamp it into the. Yeah, I, 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 I did not have enough ab strength at that time to like <laughs> lift, lift my board up. That's how much like that's how much like my everything was aching. Yeah, right? of course. This episode of Trash Taste is sponsored by Manscaped. Father's Day is just around the corner, and you probably need a gift for a hairy dad. Make your dad proud this year and get him and yourself the Manscaped Lawnmower 4.0. You heard that right, Joey. The Lawnmower 4.0. Get 20 percent off plus free shipping with the code Trash Taste at Manscaped.com. Every time I go into an onsen here in Japan. And I look around at all of these men and think, damn, they they're hairy escape. as hell. <laughs> they, <laughs> they need some manscaped they, in their lives. Specifically the 4.0 lawnmower. Manscaped is the only men's brand dedicated to below the waist grooming and just launched their lawnmower 4.0. Their fourth generation trimmer features a cutting edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents thanks to their advanced skin safe TM technology. Ooh. The new wireless charging system uses electromagnetic induction, which helps the battery length last longer. Manscaped also has the Weed Whacker, a nose and ear hair trimmer. It's the best nose hair trimmer trimmer on the market and the perfect gift for your palms. Hey son, I want Manscaped for Father's Day. Thank you very much. Glad to know dad that you can get Manscaped and you can get 20% off plus free shipping with the code trash taste at manscaped.com. Don't forget. <laughs> 
<laughs> that you came from your dad's balls. This is on script, everyone. I was the best load my dad ever shot. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the fucking video. Yeah, I kind of realized quickly, I was in a little bit of a, a little bit of a pickle because <laughs> I didn't know how I was going to get up with all this heavy gear. Right. So um, what I tried doing is just like slowly shimming, uh, what was that? Shimming, shimming, shimming like my body to be like horizontal or something where yeah, I can yeah. get up. Um, that took for f that took ages. <laughs> I must have been there for like forty minutes, right? Because I was no one helped you. <laughs> no, no, no. That's 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 the point. That's the point. I was, I was there for like a good twenty minutes, and I'd gotten around like I'd say about twenty degrees. <laughs> <laughs> because Man, if I saw someone upside down, I would yeah. go over and be like, "Yo, you yeah, good?" Yeah, I'd be like, "You, you, Homie, you, you good?" good? Yeah. So, so, so after about, so after about, uh, so after about uh, twenty degrees, like someone, someone skis down and says, "Are you okay? Do you need any help?" And I'm just like, "No, I'm okay. I think I got this." <laughs> <laughs> so he goes, "Okay," um, and he offers me a hand, and so um, I get up. And uh, I, you know, he helps me sit back up. Um, and so I, see, I sit back up, he goes back over and I'm like, okay, I got this. Mm. Um, I try shimmering a bit more, slip, like my, my, my body slips a bit and I'm like back, back on my back, right? <laughs> and I never, I, I had never known how it felt to be like, a, you know, you know, when you see like a tortoise on their back yeah. and they yeah. can't get back up, that's exactly <laughs> how I felt. <laughs> <laughs> and so I one with nature, one with and nature. so after another 20 minutes, I finally get to the point where my feet is like, my, I'm feet first down the hill and I'm just like, fuck this. I take off the snowboard and I walk, <laughs> I walk uh, the rest of the way down no. there, there. I am not going through that experience again. I will do like whatever it takes to not take the board off. I'm like, I would do- I just Honestly, that's I what did. that's what I thought, but I'm just like, it took me literally I just hate 40 admitting, minutes. I hate admitting defeat and taking yeah. There's nothing off. sadder than just like walking down while everyone's Fuck. just shoom, shoom, shoom past you, right? Yeah. It was a, it was a depressing but day. But you have to, if you have to do it, you have it's to crazy. do it. It's crazy. Like everyone snowboards in Japan. It's really weird. Mm. In Europe, everyone skis. Yeah, 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 Japan. Yeah, for some reason, and no one wears helmets. No, no one wears helmets. It's scary. Yeah, it's and like the rental place didn't even offer it. No, that's I. I it's like a, it's I like an know. option you have to ask for. It's nuts. Yeah. And I was like, you, you don't offer helmets. You don't. Have, like, yeah, because I got like the rental pack, which was like apparently like the all inclusive pack, mm. and they just yeah, no, clearly not all. Yeah, inclusive, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And it, just, you know, I, I, you know, even like professionals wear helmets. Yeah. you know what I mean. Like exactly. It, <laughs> well, you never know what can happen, right? Because uh, fucking uh, what was it? Michael Schumacher fell and hit a rock, didn't he? And then mm, he's like, yeah. he's in a like vegetative state now, I think. Is he? And he's like, a, he was a really experienced skier. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And then he just hit a rock. Yeah, you yeah. Know. I guess I guess no. Sound, yeah, right? I guess nobody told me, and I, I wish I. I, <laughs> yeah, I turned up and I'm like, oh god, they don't have helmets. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean. I, I wish I had worn a helmet so I could go the second day without feeling like- It would help with your neck as well. Cause yeah, you wouldn't, yeah. you'd have, you wouldn't be like- Yeah, I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't be like much. fucking- Would it or would it just be like extra weight on oh, your head? No, like, oh God. Cause, when you, Cause I feel like that extra like distance you go that the helmet off like cushions. Oh, that's true. Definitely that's true. helps. Yeah, that's true. Also there, dude, skiing and then being able to get like a fat ramen or a curry. Oh damn, that's good. Oh yeah. That's like that nice. onsen yeah. you go to after a full day yes. of snowboarding oh, is the best dude. fucking feeling. Yeah. Yeah. It is the best sleep you'll onsen have. Onsen in this place was just like a view of like yeah. the ski slope. It, it oh, was yeah, like so an nice. outdoor onsen and where, was, you, could, was, where like, you just viewed the yeah. mountains. Nice. And like we refurbished it all as well. Yeah, yeah. So nice. fucking could clean. feel like the snow coming down. Mm. It was, take me back, man. Take me back. No, this all hopefully I'll, I'll be able to join you guys this year. Yeah. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Well, I, I, dude, I want to ski so goddamn much like, this season because I haven't done nearly as much as I wanted to when I came here. Yeah, I, I've fucking, dude, again, like I haven't yeah. gone snowboarding or skiing in like five years. Yeah, and it's supposed to be like some of the best skiing in the world in uh, Japan. Yeah, yeah, some, yeah, some of the slopes I worked on is fucking, so yeah, I I I would I would just want an experience where I'm not on my ass for literally <laughs> ninety percent of the day. That's that that would that would be a cool right? experience. Yeah, for me. Yeah. And like also just after you after you're all like sore, you know, you all go yeah. to the onsen, then you go for the meal and you get a bunch of beers. Oh, mm. it's so good. Dude. Yeah, yeah. After ski beer or snowboarding, it's just yeah, like hundred percent. Yeah, oh, it's so it's like it's I, I, like how best. long did it take you to learn snowboarding? So I always did skiing because my my parents uh, took me. Um, mm -hmm. They do like the whole like package holidays. Mm. I fucking, I hated uh, skiing with, cause you'd ski in like groups with like, we'd go to like <laughs> Bulgaria where it was like dirt cheap mm. to like do it. And uh, you'd, you'd have to be in a group of other like families. And I didn't really enjoy it. Cause I, I was always like the rebellious kids. So I wanted to do my own thing, but right. you had to like go and like 
follow along. And and so I, 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 I'd say it took me like, before I got like good enough to go on any slope skiing, it was like three weeks. Um, and then I taught myself how to snowboard. Uh, yeah, because once you've gotten the grasp of skiing, it's very easy to kind of, because you, you're already used to uh, yeah, the lack yeah. of friction on the It was still really snow, difficult. Right? It's still hard. <laughs> it was, it's yeah. still hard. Because it like yeah. didn't make sense in my head. Yeah. Like not, not, nothing can prepare you for just yeah. how snowboarding works. Because yeah. it, it, it really goes against everything your mind has trained 100%. you for. I mean, especially for the difference life. between like skiing and snowboarding, right? Because like in skiing, it's like, if you're facing down the hill, then you're going to go. And if you're not, then you've stopped. It's the yeah. literal opposite with snowboarding, right? Yeah, if you yeah, need to be true. facing the side to go and this way you stop. But uh, you know, the thing that made me want to change really badly was that I fuck, it, I'm sure anyone who skis will know this, that the shoes are just oh, fucking the worst, awful. The worst, you know, and cause, cause we were- Concrete blocks yeah, cause on Cause we feet. were doing, cause we were doing like, you know, I'm really, really grateful that my parents took me on these like, mm. yeah. they were like the cheapest skiing holidays you could get. Right. So we often stayed really, really far away from the places and you have to put your ski shoes on. Yeah. Like, you know, kind of looks like kind of look like clown shoes. Yeah. You know? So you, you put these shoes on like ten minutes before you'd like ten minute walk from the <laughs> bus. So you have to walk. I'm like thirteen with my skis. Yeah. I, I'm not that strong yet. Yeah. Walking <laughs> ten minutes with my skis in these horrible things, click, clock, click. And then you have to wait on the bus for twenty minutes and you have to Ugh. walk another like five minutes. And it's just like I hated it. Yeah. And then I was like, you know what? I hate these shoes so goddamn much. It's so painful wearing them. It's so everything about these suck. They absolutely destroy your ankles. Yeah. And then I was like, yeah. I'm I don't care what it takes. I'm gonna learn to snowboard for those god because you just get boots. <laughs> yeah, you the just, first time yeah, I wore snowboarding boots, boots, I was like, I and can then, walk normally. Then, you know, when you're at the restaurant, you know, you see these people with their trays like clocking with yeah, their like skis yeah. with their like their food on it. And I'm like, move out the way. Chan snowboarder boots here. Just, Runs past. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, ski, oh, oh, don't mind me. Just getting, that's beer. I'll take that. Thank you very much. You know, it's like, you just get so much more freedom and so much chiller. Like, I don't know, you, mm. you haven't got poles to carry. And so that's why I wanted to learn it. I fucking sucked. First three days, I just kept falling over. Oh yeah, same. Yeah, me and my yeah. little brother did it at the same time. And my little brother sprained his ankle like first day, yeah, gave right. up. And I was like, no, nah, I'm determined. Mm. And I'd say snowboarding the first week that I did it, I was pretty shit. I could go down a black slope by the end, but I was doing <laughs> it really badly. I was mm, just yeah. like going like this, you know, oh, yeah, really yeah, slowly, yeah. but like, I went down it. Um, and then I'd say like, it took me like maybe two or three more weeks before I felt like I could, I was actually doing it good. Mm. But yeah, I was self-taught. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just about like, you know, just getting your body used to those weird movements that you've yeah, never done. Going but fast. Yeah. yeah, but Speed. also <laughs> it's just like, just you just have to commit yeah, to some do. of these. Like you just have to be like, I know this is not what I'm supposed to do, but I have to do this. Yeah. And it's it's scary, yeah. dude. Like leaning forward on a hill, yeah. like yeah. you're not built for that. You're not, <laughs> yeah. Your brain's not built to your, do your, that. Your brain's not built to be like, you know, this thing you're going down yeah. fast, you gotta lean forward I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I always, into the danger. Yeah, yeah. I always felt when I was skiing, when you go fast, when you're skiing, I almost feel like it, it it's like safer than going slower. Like, I don't yeah, know weirdly. Yeah. It felt safer because like the way that, I don't know how it worked, but when I, when I was going snowboarding, when I started getting speed, it did not feel like secure at all. Mm. It's wobbling and anything that hits the board underneath, you feel it a yeah. fuck ton when you're going really fast. <laughs> it is yeah. fucking terrifying. Yeah. And if you tumble when you're going like really fast, oh my God, you just fucking tumbling just all rip. over the place. Yeah. Yeah, it's like yeah, some Looney Tunes and, and, also, and also like tumbling with just these massive things on your feet, just never, it never feels natural, you no. know? It, it's, it's like having two concrete bricks, just like, yeah. Glued it's, to like, it's, like the, it's like the green army. You just kind of right? learn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just kind of learn. Like just kind of like, do this, and then yeah, hopefully yeah. you fall good. Just don't don't put your hands out. That's the yeah, hardest yeah. part. Is learning when you fall naturally. You want to put your hands out, but that's how you sprain your uh, your ankles. Uh, not ankles, uh, your wrists. Your wrist, you can yeah. get like the wrist guards, but they don't help that much. I yeah. mean, what I got taught because like I got taught by like you an ex professional yeah. like snowboarder, and he said like when you fall, like you have to fall with your fists. Yeah. Because yeah. if you fall like this, just then don't do it that. Goes back. Yeah, just, he yeah, did yeah. that and broke both of his wrists at the same Fuck. time. So he's like. Yeah. Don't do that. <laughs> that shit hurts. I can tell you firsthand. Oh, I just, I just put my arms like that. Yeah, you just fucking do this, then you're good. Yeah, just don't fall. Just yeah. don't fall. Just, 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 just get good, right? Why would I fall? No, just no. Literally, good. literally, what I what I found from snowboarding is that it's literally the get good of sports, <laughs> right? <Yeah. laughs> uh, if, you're, if you're being taught by Matthew, yeah, yeah I mean, just don't happens. be a pussy and just get good. <laughs> I mean, like like when I started getting used to it, there was nothing that could prepare my mind. Like you know, I watch YouTube. I, I when I watch the YouTube tutorials, I try to follow what they were saying, <laughs> but nothing could really prepare me for just like getting the feel of the snowboard. Yeah. Cause it's, it's like you got to shut off a part of your brain um, and relearn like another yeah. skill set yeah. when you are like snowboarding and stuff. Yeah. And also like just where your, 
where you're putting pressure on your like toes and your like the exact point can can determine so much on how you're steering. Mm. Yeah. You get so much more control once you realize like, okay, if I just have faith, if I put pressure here, it'll turn where I yeah. want it to. But you kind of got to like not panic mm. <laughs> to learn that. Yeah, panicking is what fucks yeah. you up the most, yeah. right? Yeah. It's good though. I mean, if you get the chance to go, go. But obviously, oh, you honestly, know, you yeah. feel like it is a very privileged sport. It is, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. We've, I mean, been, we've been talking about a lot of privileged activities, haven't we? Like yeah. kayaking and snowboarding. I, just, and I, I remember when I was at the ski resort and um, I found my mom to, to tell her that I was like snowboarding. <laughs> and she was like, oh, you rich now, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Because, <laughs> like, the, like the the read like to, to us like to to me like snowboarding and skiing has always been like the rich man sport. It's, yeah, it's yeah. always been like the white man sport. You know, that's 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 <laughs> how I. I'm right. That's that's how like I was fuck, raised fuck, up to like fuck, view dude. snowboarding and skiing because you know when I go on holiday you know I, I you know visit back visit back home and and everything like that. I go yeah. to like a nice cheap beach or whatever in Thailand or whatever. Um, snowboarding and skiing like the only reason I'd never gone before was because there seems to be like so many steps and so many like so much equipment that you need yeah. in order yeah. just to go down a slope. It's kind of like golfing. You know? Yeah, I was about to say, there's two types That's of rich rent, white man sports. Though. It's you either yeah. go skiing and snowboarding or you play golf. Well, I, <laughs> I think I saw something. I don't know if this is true or not, but I saw something and it was like, it was like based on like sports or accidents in general, what percentage yeah. of them were like white people. And it was like the most, the whitest accident you can have is is uh, on a fucking jet ski. It was like <laughs> it was like a hundred. I can't remember where it was. It was like a, it was like ninety nine point five percent of accidents on jet skis were white people. White people. <laughs> and then the next one was skiing and snowboarding. Yeah, of like, course. At like ninety seven or yeah. something. It's just There's like, nothing more white. I was going to say, and like, when you put it like that, I'm like, I don't, yeah, I don't think there is anything whiter than owning a jet, jet ski. ski. <laughs> like, it is like <laughs> it is the whitest. Have thing you ever been on a jet ski? No. <laughs> Have you thought about going on a jet ski? I'd like just, to. I'd like to. Who just the fuck owns a jet ski? I don't know. Anyone. I don't live in like Florida or anything like that. Like, <laughs> I've hey. been on a jet ski. It's fun really? as fuck. Yeah, because I mean, in, in Thailand, obviously with the beach and everything, there's some services oh, where you can like right, rent out right, a jet right. ski for like a uh, half an hour or whatever. Um, I mean, it's basically just a motorbike on water. It's, <laughs> it's, you jump off it? Huh? <laughs> Do any sick tricks? <laughs> SSX on a yeah. jet ski. Do any flips? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean it's it's just it's just a lot of fun. Uh, I can see how people get injured on that though. You you go pretty fast, and you think that it's water, nah, so water, it, do, it water, doesn't hurt. In concrete. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah, you, know, you think that you're falling off at full speed. It doesn't hurt, but it fucking hurts. Oh yeah. Um, but it's a lot of fucking fun. Um, I mean, I haven't done much on it. I mean, I've only had like like half an hour on a jet ski mm. on a beach in Thailand once, but uh, that's pretty much it. I feel like that's all I'd need. I'd be like, you know what? Now I'm done. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm I've, done. I've, I've fulfilled the white man experience. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you that this like fucking ski resort that we stayed at, um, it was like th its theme, mm. like what its theme was like, it, it was very like, Inspired by, I guess, like American, American, like <laughs> culture. Right, I, that sounds so bizarre. A Japanese ski resort inspired by, by American yeah, it's culture. It's really weird. It was, it was like, kind of what I imagine. Yeah, what kind of what I imagine a ferry would be like. You know, it, right. it had a lot of different. Um, a, a lot of different things for like, like it, 1950s carnival style, I'd say. 19 yeah. Oh, weird. Yeah. In yeah. Japan. Yeah, in yeah, Japan. Yeah. Whereabouts did you guys go? Oh, Hokkaido. Oh, Hokkaido. Okay. Oh, Hokkaido. okay. Yeah, yeah. Was, but there was some areas of this hotel that were like totally normal, chill, but there was a big area that was like kids theme park, yeah. carnival theme. It was really yeah. weird. So, oh, so, weird. Really so they had bizarre. like, they had like these um, animatronics. Um, animals. Oh, wait, some Chuck E. Cheese shit. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah exactly like that. She's yeah. like some Chuck E. Cheese shit, right? <laughs> but I don't know when they had bought these <laughs> I animatronics. I, <laughs> I don't know when they had bought these animatronics because we were just, um, me and Sydney were just sitting there like, and they'd play these like songs, right? They, they'd have these like animatronic concerts, like right. in, in this like children's area where you can buy fucking burgers and fries. It was like an eating area. It's like right? a, it's full on Chuck E. Cheese. What yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, the, and, and these poor employees had to listen to these fucking things sing all day. Yeah. And so <laughs> and so me and Cindy were just enjoying like a nice burger and everything like that. Right. And then this fucking, this fucking like fucking animatronic dog or something just starts, <laughs> just starts bigging up the Confederacy. <laughs> Yeah. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Yeah, and I was just like, I had me and Sydney had to double take to be like, did did we just hear that correctly? <laughs> yeah. Like, what is what is going on right now? Yeah, because I, I walked past them and I was like, uh, don't mind my thing. I'm like, why are they wearing Confederate soldier uniform? Oh my god, <laughs> dead ass! Yeah. Jesus Christ! So after we heard that, we took like 
a closer look at these animatronics, right? right to be right. like, what, what is going on? When did they buy these and where did they buy these from? And we saw one of the bears was, uh, it was very, let's say, not very tasteful. 1920s at all. Like, uh, black cartoon uh, character. Oh no. Yes, like, it yes. Not, it was, Oh, the no. lips were like massive, you know, and, <laughs> and it had the stereotypical cartoon black man accent oh, of like no. 1920s, you know, like the whole like, uh, I don't even want to do it. I don't even it's want literally, to do it. If you go and watch, know, it, know what you go about, and watch like a Disney cartoon from the 1920s yeah. with a black person yeah. with that yeah. like kind of like stereotypical accent they oh, gave them and no. character, yeah. and it was just that. And it's like, it was like, oh no, oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. Uh, why? Why? <laughs> and uh, yeah, these. <laughs> These, 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 you can't make that shit up. These, these pure, <laughs> these, <laughs> these poor Japanese tourists, or these, Jap these poor Japanese tourists, are just like ah, American culture, <laughs> yeah. Kids are just I like mean, running around, I mean. being like, "Mama, what's the Confederacy?" Oh <laughs> I'm just God. like, oh uh, yes, <laughs> yes, man, it's got a you, fucking. Can video. you show it to Joey? <laughs> Nothing weirder than that thing standing next to a Miku. <laughs> Wait, is that a Miku thing? It was. Like, uh, let me see this. Oh no! Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh, that's oh that is. It was a really good result, though. It was really cheap. Good answer. It was a really good result. <laughs> really good result. Just like but that. Fantastic. Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah, he's, <laughs> oh. <laughs> it is one of those things where you're like, this is great. What is going on here? Why is this a thing? Why is this here? Yeah. It's, it's like you know, you have that like your 90 year old aunt who has that one piece of memorabilia where you're like, auntie, you should. Yeah. Probably throw that away. You should probably not talk probably, about that. Yeah. You should probably get rid of that. I yeah. Think. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. I mean, to give to give them the benefit of the doubt, I don't think that it's anyone the, there knew. Yeah, it's just a case of they don't know. Yeah, yeah but, they don't, it's, they, it, but it's the matter of like you know when tourism comes back in, right? Like, oh, it's been there for decades. Well, yeah. clearly, yeah. <laughs> you know, and how has no for, like tourists come up and be like, you, you know what that is, right? Like, it's probably, probably not a good idea. Yeah, I wonder if it's a thing of like, you know, because obviously in the past, like, you know, five, six years, it's been a very hot, hot topic. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's only now where we've really started to be like, we should probably get rid of all that shit. Yeah, it's yeah. Not, not a good idea. Uh, so I wonder, uh, yeah, I, I, I wonder though, I wonder, is anyone, anyone sent them an email letting them know like, hey, uh, <laughs> love the animatronics. They're great, they're really great. The dog is cute, but. <laughs> Maybe we should kind of change up the theme a little. Bit. Yeah, you know, we got we got a bunch of Miku's probably lying around. We could probably resurface that. Uh, re resurface yeah, that them. picture like, of the Miku next to the dog. I was like, that is some cursed God, shit. Right? Like, <laughs> that looks Photoshop. <laughs> I I fucking you know what I, I was, I didn't want to like swear off this place. I thought it was you know I'm mm. sure I'm sure you know it's it's, it's a very good. There has to be a reason behind it. Right? It was yeah. it was a nice place, and I just I I really did feel like they were just like ignorant. You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, I mean it it I, it kind of felt like they had just like brought some memorabilia from America. Yeah, they didn't whatever. know what they were buying. Well, I mean, this is just Hokkaido, as, right? Like yeah, a, just, a lot of the fucking ski resorts are in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, it's in the middle of fucking nowhere. They yeah. they have no idea yeah. about anything like, like what's going on. Well, it that, makes sense, but it's still not good. It was good. just super fucking weird. Yeah, you it walk was into this, really bizarre. It, it, you <laughs> walk into the this, last thing you expect to see in the middle of fucking nowhere in Japan. Yeah. Cause we had to like, we had to go on a coach that like, lasted about two, three hours in the middle of fucking Hokkaido, yeah. right? So we were, we were going in the middle of nowhere and we walk in and it's just like old American memorabilia everywhere. So <laughs> it was so it was fucking bizarre. as well. The hotel part was really fancy as right. well. It's so like the entrance to this hotel was like marble, like pure marble <laughs> with like pillars. And it's like, what the fuck is going You can, it's so fancy. You can get a, you can get a helicopter from the airport to the hotel. Fucking hell. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But then they just have this whole thing that's like, and then also, I mean, completely unrelated, but I was really offended when I, I, I bought a, what was it advertised as a coffee and I paid three dollars for it. Oh, yeah. actually, you know, it's not the most expensive coffee, but I was like, all right, fine, pay three dollars for it. I literally dead ass saw this woman put a fucking shitty pod into a machine and then print thick coffee. I'm like, I don't want it anymore. Was it? Was it? Was it an espresso? Was it an espresso? It wasn't even an espresso. <laughs> it was some budget version of Nespresso. I was like, I can't what, what is it. this? You know, if it's an espresso, maybe I pay. Not even an espresso. <laughs> you know, that's like the bare minimum. If you're charging for a coffee, I, you know, I'm not expecting much, but yeah. like, if you're gonna put the pod in fuck in front of me. <laughs> Like dead, literally just get the pot in front of me. Right boom. in front of my coffee, really? <laughs> really? I was, I was like, I don't wanna drink this shit. Yeah. Get, this, get this acid water out of my face. I don't wanna fuck, I don't wanna. 
I'm, t- I'm, I'm Connor sharing his privilege clearly here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if, it's, if it's a pod, get it out of my I've face. I've become spoiled on coffee to the point where I just can't like drink the shit stuff anymore. Like instant coffee, the thought of drinking that now, like the, the gr- <laughs> do you know the, the one in the top? The, the Nescafe ones? Oh, fuck, yeah. dude, yeah. fuck. Oh, Jesus Christ. I show my privilege. I don't even care, dude, Frank. <laughs> if, if show my privilege would mean I don't have to drink that shit again, gladly. Look, at, look <laughs> at you, not drinking instant coffee, going snowboarding, the Listen, true, true honestly, rich white man the, 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 It's not privilege, it's called fucking taking care of myself and putting that <laughs> fucking d- dirt water acid into my body. If you're still drinking instant coffee, I get it. If you're desperate, I, ha- I always have it in the cupboard. If I'm desperate, I have nothing else, I'll do it. Yeah. But if that's your like, can't wait for my morning cup of coffee, puts acid in hot water, no. Don't do that. You're, you're, you're worth more than that. Don't give these. Don't enable these companies to sell this garbage shit that they call coffee. It's not coffee. Uh, rant over. <laughs> Ted, talk. You good? You would good? you drink it? Would you no, drink it? I, I well, don't drink it. I mean, wait, no, back I, me up here, boys. What I, the fuck? I mean, I, I mean you, you, you kind of, you kind of just is, saying the, what this, I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah, the stage was all yours. Yeah. Let, let the white man fucking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let the white privileged white man who just came back from snowboarding say, <laughs> "I'm just come back. It's fucking me. Where am I gonna snowboard?" <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. No, because like the worst part of like staying in a hotel, right, is just knowing that you're gonna have to like drink that shitty instant three in one coffee. You mean where- that shitty coffee that you had at the Dyorkan as well? At camping? Oh camping? god, don't remind me. So man. there was this coffee machine in the Dyorkan, right? And it's, it said I mean, two, okay, hold up though though. The fact that there's a coffee machine in a Ryokan yeah. is already uh that's, that's okay, amazing. Yeah, yeah. There's well, normally no coffee yeah, to be found. Usually there isn't, places. right? So so all of us, when we walked in, we saw that and the guy was like, yeah, so for people who are staying, you get free coffee at the coffee machine. And everyone's oh, yeah. like, perfect. perfect. That's great. The, tomorrow morning's gonna be fantastic. Yeah. Walk up and my first red flag was, it was like free coffee. Mm. And I was like, no, 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 make me pay, please. There is nothing pay. scarier than something that's for free. Because no, uh, <laughs> I, I, I was going to be like, Tea, I sleep. That's yeah. fine. Yeah, I was. I was like, it's a, it's a machine that serves coffee, and you press the button, and you could hear beans grinding. So I'm just like, surely, surely there must be some quality to this. If I can yeah. hear something whirring in the machine, it's not just a pod or something <laughs> like that. So I get this coffee, I drink it, and I'm just like, man, I never thought I would ask for a refund for a free coffee, but I'm kind of <laughs> considering it now. How is it so bad though? If it's like grounded coffee. Of his beans being I mean, right. I don't know if it was grounded coffee. There might've just been like beans just I'm, I'm whirling pretty, in I'm a pretty, container. I'm pretty like... sure they just grounded dirt uh, and, yeah. and they sold it as coffee because that's I'm pretty what sure it was the rocks like. that were being ground up, right? <laughs> like from the, from the dirt that they dug it's up. It's like how some vacuums have like speakers in them to, to have like sounds play when you pick up stuff, <laughs> like to make it sound more- It, it was yeah. not fresh coffee. Um, It was, it yeah, was if, alive. If it was beans, those beans have been there since those well, animatronics well, have once been you, there. Once you uh, grind the beans, they go bad like within like, uh, oh God, I don't know how long, maybe like, a few weeks. Well, clearly the people at the hotel yeah. didn't know. They're like, well, I mean, once they're in the machine, they're, they're good to go, aren't yeah, they? Beans, yeah, they, 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 they get pretty bad pretty quickly. Yeah. That's why you're supposed to like grind them when you drink them. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but clearly they didn't think about that. They were like, well, there you go. Yeah. Unlimited supply of coffee right here for you. Fine people staying at our Honest, uh, hotel. On, honestly, I will happily be called privileged for just wanting good coffee. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll take it, I'll take it. <laughs> Cause I, I I remember like the my, most my, acceptable form of like, privilege. Like, I, I was I, like I was like okay so if I, you know I'll, if I, I'm, I'm privileged fine I'm not a peasant there as long as I'm not a peasant yeah. fine fine. Cause like I remember like I've I've grown up my entire life on instant coffee like mm. my, my 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 childhood was my parents like drinking instant coffee with powdered coffee yeah, mate, yeah. right? And that was, that was just that was just my entire life. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember like after I finished university, you know, had my first job, um, you know, I tried, tried getting a coffee machine for the first time. Mm-hmm. And I remember the first thing my mom said, my mom and dad said to me, it was like, oh, you don't need a coffee machine. We got a fucking Nescafe right here. Just this fuck, it's, it's cheap. <laughs> it's so easy. It's so easy. Mother, I up. respect myself and I'm not putting that dirt yeah. in my body. So, so one year I buy them, I for like, I think it was, I can't remember if it was Christmas or one of their birthdays, mm-hmm. buy them a coffee machine, right? right? I'm just like, mom, dad, try this. Just, mm. just try it. Yeah. Just, just give it a try. Just give it a go. And now every, every like every few weeks or something, they're just like, son, we need more pods. <laughs> son, where do we buy the pods? <laughs> it, <laughs> we, it is so much better. It's like night and day, how much better it is. Yeah. Like, that's, it's, that's it's what I'm looking forward. That's obviously. what I'm looking forward to, to my new place. Cause my old place, yeah. I, I didn't have enough space for a, for yeah. a, a Nespresso <laughs> machine, right? So I'm like, fuck the curtains, <laughs> fuck the couches, <laughs> fuck the beds. Nespresso machine. <laughs> that is the first thing on my list I, right I, now. I, I said this on the live stream, bro. I could like, I could lose my house. And I'm like, can I keep the coffee machine at least though? Like, if I, my house catches on fire, I'm taking the Nespresso machine. Yeah, yeah, what, do you, yeah. what do you save? Your gaming PC or your, or your life's work? Nah, I'm, gra- I'm grabbing the coffee machine. Yeah. <laughs> 
At least I can watch my house burn down with a nice, <laughs> with cup, a nice of cup of coffee. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> with a nice tasting espresso. You know what I mean? Fuck me. Oh my God. <laughs> Honestly, I, I wish we did buy a, uh, bring a coffee machine on camping. Fuck the TV. Yeah, I mean, that's what the fucking Dude, power outlet was for, right? Look, if you got the power outlet, why would you not bring it? <laughs> I, think that's what the, I think that's what the power outlet was for. Honestly, Honestly. Well, get into God's fucking monstrosity yeah. of a, a generator <laughs> and bring your Nespresso machine yeah. with you. Get, bring the milk frother yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> bring the and bring the milk. Put I mean, it in a mini fridge. Connect the just, mini fridge. I mean, thing I, as well. I could just imagine, dude. If I, I, I like, oh, you know, I step out of my tent. I'm like, oh, and I hear like, <laughs> and I look over at someone else's camping lot, and I see them with an espresso machine. I'd be like, you fucking ten thousand IQ motherfucker. <laughs> I hate you so much right now. And then, and then he fucking froths the milk, and I'm like, yeah. God damn it, God. Dude. God, I wish that was Bringing me. a TV, weak shit. Bringing your own espresso machine and milk frother, that's big brain. That bro. is big that brain. Really the big brain stuff. The thing about camping, I don't know, I don't know why, but like most food you cook on camping, it, it tastes good, right? It tastes, There's it something tastes, about the camping cook. Yeah, like the, yeah. The, the there's, there's, there's something about just cooking something on an open fire. Uh, yeah. That just makes it be like your, your caveman brain oh just God, activates so and you're just like, this tastes good. Bacon, yeah. good. bacon, bacon on campfire yeah. is yeah. like next Any level. meat on yeah. campfire is but like, like legendary. The only thing that is just never translated is coffee. Coffee, no, no. coffee, like camping coffee is just like the most, th okay. Now literally, literally the headset meme of the guy ripping it off. Yeah. Like, yeah. Campfire coffee, I'm like. <laughs> yeah, cause, cause like, let's be honest, camping is basically just homeless simulator for like a few <laughs> days, right? And like- I don't know about that. <laughs> it's like, it's like, it's like privileged homeless simulator. <laughs> it's like, it's like <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I feel like, have you guys ever seen a homeless person before? Like, it's, like, like, it's like homeless simulator with a savings account, yeah. you know? Like, <laughs> we're trying to get speed run canceled over here. <laughs> what, by the homeless community? <laughs> No, but I mean, I mean, I mean you, you're basically going homeless for a few days I in the middle of the field, right? Uh, I mean, you got a tent, you got, you have a fucking power outlet. Name one homeless person with a power outlet, God. Well, I'm, I'm not saying in Japan. I'm yeah, just not that, in Japan. <clears throat> I'm just saying normally, like, have you seen it? Like, you know, I don't think homeless people just are like, you know what, I'm homeless. I'm gonna retreat to the mountains and live in there. They don't do that. That's not what they fucking do. Cause they don't have a fucking tent cause they're homeless. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's no. skid row. Okay, no, I mean, <laughs> this, is, this is going a bit off topic. But I mean, uh, yeah, I'm not, fine, I'm not fine, homeless, fine, like, ahead, I've, I've, I've seen some homeless people have tents. Do they not have tents? They do. <laughs> Yeah, yeah that, that, they do. It depends where you are, though. I mean, Skid Row, everyone has a fucking tent. Yeah, they're all camping. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, they're not fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just joking, I'm just joking. I, we apologize if any of these jokes are very tasteless, yeah, which they probably are. They probably are. All it's right, all right. Man. But uh, no, what was I saying? Camping. Like, homeless simulator. <laughs> it was homeless simulator. Like I, there's, there's, not, there's nothing that has made me just like feel more like- <laughs> you're saying, you're saying, are, you, are you just saying you feel grateful? <laughs> I feel grateful that you I have a roof so over my head. White right now. I Guys, feel grateful that I, I have a roof over my head and I that spent, I have a coffee machine. I okay? spent one day in the outdoors with a, a, a tent, <laughs> with a power outlet, <laughs> and I'm so grateful that no, I it have. Was, all it these. wasn't the tent. It wasn't the power outlet. It was the coffee, which was what I was trying to say. <laughs> so if you want to feel grateful for your coffee machine, if go I camping. said that, that would come off as ten times more privileged. Than oh God come on, said you've it. said something like that before, anyway. I will, yeah, I'm pretty I sure you said something five minutes ago that was like that. <laughs> and so what? I I, I don't care. I, I'm I'm tired of pretending to be a peasant. Frankly, I I'm you know I it's never what I aim to be. I remember when I was younger, I was uh, the the moment I realized I was like this peasant life is for me. I, I was like 10 years old <laughs> on the plane. 10 years old? I don't, fucking know. I don't know, it was like arbitrary age of young age. Yeah, right. Uh, we went on a plane somewhere and I was like, why? Wow, already um, privileged, you get to go on a plane? That's not fucking, oh, come on. It's like fucking Ryan, Ryan yeah, Air. It's been, hardly you, a fucking you, privilege. You ever been on easy, Jack, Joey? <laughs> I know. That's, that's no, the it was, furthest it was, thing from privilege. We were doing like a, it was like a layover or something. And then, so this was like a, it was like a, it was a flight that was going to like Australia, but it stopped in like where we were going to mm -hmm. like Amsterdam. So it was like a two hour flight. But I remember we were sitting in an economy and I was like, mum, why do they get to go in the really, really cool looking one? They get to lie down. They mm. were like, oh, cause that's really expensive. And I was like, why don't you pay for it? And like, we can't, <laughs> I was like, we can't afford it. And I'm like, we can't afford it. Just, just get a good bank account. I was, like, I was like, you guys have a job, right? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, we can't afford it. It's too expensive. I'm like, oh. Well, if you I, were well, my kid, I would have slapped you over the head. No, I was just asking. I was like, how much is it? I don't know how much it is. You know, how does it work? Right. You know? I'm young as fuck. I'm like, I don't know yeah. how much it costs. I have no notion of this before. Right. I'm like, I'm like, well, I mean, how, how much is it? 
<laughs> How much? How much? Why, why can't you afford it? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, what? So you're saying you're telling me that those people over there have enough money for it? Nah, that's not right. That's not, that's not if, how if they can get it, I can get it. Fuck that. <laughs> that was like my mindset. I mean, that's how I've always been in life. I'm like, if someone right. else can have it, I can have it. Why can't I have it? <laughs> why not? Why not? If they, if they get it, why don't I? I'm uh, a person I don't know. Did you did you think like that as a kid? I don't know. I'm, I'm I, I, in my head. I'm, I always thought if someone else could do it, I can do it. When I was like 10, all I thought was like, thank you father for buying me a packet of no, Mentos. No, 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 I was like, grateful, but I would always <laughs> wonder. You, you never wondered why those other people who had like all this stuff. I wondered, stuff. but I was like, well, the fact that we're not there right now means that hmm. they're different, right? But why? Like, they're the same as us. They just got lucky. <laughs> Fuck that. But I'm like, but that's I'm what they want you to believe. They want you to believe they are like 10,000 IQ. We we earned this. Fuck off. No, they didn't. They got fucking lucky. <laughs> Fuck off. No, you didn't. You made a few good decisions and that you made an air conditioning company. Good yeah. for you. How to get privileged, <laughs> just get lucky. <laughs> There's a lot of luck involved. I mean, it, is, yeah. I mean it, it, is, it is mostly luck. 90% yeah. of the people in that first class fucking born into wealth, bro. It's bullshit. That is true. That is Not true. fair. It's the same rich people giving each other their kids money. <laughs> I'm like, fuck that. I deserve that. Why don't I deserve that? <laughs> wow. I'm going to have some of that. Oh, but what's the what's wrong with having that mindset of being like, if they can do it, why can't I get it? I mean, no, there's nothing wrong with having that there's mindset. There's nothing wrong with having that mindset. It's just funny that you were having that mindset at like age Literally, 10. yeah, like from a you're, young you're age. Just, you're just trying to be a pro gamer. Yeah, from a young age, I always was like, I, I just want to like, why? Why, why can't- why, are, why aren't my parents min-maxing life right now? <laughs> no, no, no. I, just, I, I just always thought if someone else could do something, always from a young age, like, if they could do it, I could do it. No, that's great. That's a great that's mentality fun. to have. That it's is, just, it. When it's talking about, you know, like, well, privilege. Because well, money's like a ta taboo subject, right? You can't say that you want to get a lot of it. But yeah. like, I, I mean, I, I just think that that's like- That's bullshit. Yeah, no. Like everyone wants to have a lot of money. Yeah, of course. That's yeah. it. I mean, I- But I, no people, one wants to admit that, right? People don't want to admit that they're like, that. I mean, people are always like, if I had that, but they're never like, I'm going to yeah. go for it. Because it's embarrassing admitting to your friends being like, I'm going to be a millionaire. I'm going to do go for that shit, right? Because yeah. that sounds, you're like, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, all right, man. All right, go back to Walmart. Yeah. Right, shut the fuck. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, yeah. nah, dude, fuck that. Let people try if they want to, man. Let yeah. them fuck up. Like, no, absolutely. If you're going to go bankrupt, do it before 30 so you can at least like fix your shit, you know? Like, what was it? I saw a thing that was like, most people uh, have the most impactful years in your life are like 40 years old. You like the people mm -hmm. who do the most the important things and the CEOs of the company, all that stuff. <laughs> it's when you're 40. So just fuck up. Try and do a bunch of shit. Yeah. You know? Exactly. Honestly. Take like, some risks. Go for gold when you're like 20. Why yeah. the fuck not? Take some risks while you're young. Yeah, honestly, like I what I try to tell people is like especially those in their mid twenties, because I I feel like everyone hits the, like their mid twenties or like 23, 24, where they realize, oh, I'm just going to be working for the rest of my life, yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah. And you know, everyone gets their first job. You get excited getting your first job. You're like, damn, I'm, get, I'm actually getting paid for once. I'm, mm, not, right. I'm not a peasant anymore. Because yeah. <laughs> let's be honest, being, being a student is That's like- That's what they want. That's what the system wants you to think. <laughs> exactly. Be, being a student is just like, man, you've just gotten used to living like a peasant, yeah. right? Right, right. <laughs> so yes, this is normal. Yeah. <laughs> you're just like I, I, I remember, like, I remember like somewhere in my mid twenties when I just realized, man, how the fuck did I just live off cup ramen for a good like, five years of my life. Yeah, That's not yeah. normal. Yeah. And I've just like, inter I like internalize that to be like, dude, dude, night out versus cup ramen. Night out anytime. Yeah, of course, right? of course. <laughs> Gotta get your priorities right. But then you realize, wow, I have a, I have a, job with a disposable income, I can, I can have like a decent living. Mm. And that's what you would hope that most people would have if they went through university, right. if they mm. went, if they got an education, mm. um, it's a lot harder now. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> like I, like it's, it's, I've, you know, I was lucky enough to get even my first job after I yeah. graduated from uni, which a lot of people have a hard time, have a hard time doing now. But I will say, if you are able to be in a position where you can give yourself a safety net, then by all means, fuck up in your twenties. Fuck, yeah. because your twenties are the best point where you can fuck up in in life and still it not be the end of the world. Yeah, you, you still know? have yeah. enough time to re recoup, right? And like, you know, get back to yeah. ground zero. Yeah. That's why I was just like, I was like, fuck it. Yeah, I'll, I'll try YouTubing. It's probably a terrible idea to <laughs> yeah. lose two or three years of my possible long engineering career to this. But yeah, I was like, fuck it. Like, I, I'm going to try it. Like, why wouldn't I try yeah. it? Like, it'd be Go stupid for, for me not to try it. Yeah. You know? yeah. Go for gold. But I mean, I, I, I mean, it, it does get to a point where. Um, cause I, I mean, I mean if know. I went down like the engineering path, I'm sure you too, you know, mm -hmm. eventually in your forties, you'd probably have a very cushy wage. You'd, you know, mm. you'd be very you'd be well off. You'd have yeah. a very nice, you know, you'd, you'd be able to afford very fine things in life. Mm. When, you get, when, you, when you become a chartered yeah. engineer, mm. the pay you get is very good. Yeah. And when you work in certain places where the engineering gets, you know, more difficult or whatever, like you can start getting nutty money. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I was just like, yeah, fuck that. I'll, I'd rather take 20K a year doing something that I like that also has the chance to make 
way more down the line, mm. you know? Mm. And that's what I was always like though. I, I always thought why settle? You know, I, I would rather risk losing it all trying to make a million dollars than just settle for like, you know. The, a, com a, the comfortable a, amount, yeah. right? Because yeah. to me, it's like, well, you know, I, I, I can do that at any point in my life. Oh. I, I can settle down and, and, and do things, right. you know, smartly. Because you never know, like, with our career, right? Like, it could start happening tomorrow for all we know. Yeah, like, like if, you, if you become know, right? the biggest fucking YouTuber on the planet next week, you, dude, you're set for life. You know yeah. what I mean? So it's like, but I, I don't even think of it like that. It's not, it's not like how I see YouTube anyway. Mm. But, but I just I just would rather risk and do something that's kind of like, oh, that's kind of could lose it all. He he XD. <laughs> <laughs> could like could just become homeless tomorrow. Yeah. Fine, dude. Like <laughs> better start camping. <laughs> yeah, right. Better start getting good at camping. But like, I mean, it's I'd rather try it. Like, yeah, yeah of course. Fuck it, no, why I, mean, not? I mean, I think it's important to like recognize that some people are just not in the position to be able to try. That's true. Yeah, because yeah, it's just true. because it's like, true. like I, I was very very lucky that. I I'd, I'd built up the savings and I, and I also had a really good family that set yeah, me up yeah. to allow me exactly, to do that. Exactly. You know? Cause like, I, I will say this right now, like my, I always never brought up, like my family weren't in the best of financial positions yeah. at all. But like, I was lucky enough to have like a mom and dad who like work their fucking asses yeah, off to like yeah, get yeah. me through and give me a better opportunity than they ever had. And yeah. that's why like right now I'm trying to like, I, most of like, most of everything I earn, I like, I, I like spend on them. I spend yeah. more on them than I do on me because I feel like it's my way of like paying back the opportunity that they gave me. Yeah, yeah. Because such a good boy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's- <laughs> <laughs> That's boy gone. Such a good son. I mean, dude, like, yeah. I mean, my parents, like, especially my dad, he came up from like fucking poverty almost in fucking Thailand and mm. luck somehow found found his way to England and worked his fucking ass off. Mm. Had a much harder life than I ever went through. So of course I'm like, fucking dad. Isn't, isn't that fucking badass though? Like, he, you know, he had a dream, moved to England and then his son's like engineering degree. And then now he talks about anime titties. But that, that part, <laughs> <laughs> that, that part, that's, that's, part of the that story. That was not what I was actually thinking. That was that part, that part of the story. Yeah, he probably doesn't tell that. <laughs> His family gatherings, but yeah. <laughs> now nah, he's fucking proud now, man. Yeah, he's like, yeah, <laughs> like that's such badass, dude. Yeah, like, exactly. No, because because I, I I feel like it's it, you know it's it's a fallacy where you you know you think money solves every problem that you have. When money money does not solve, no. it's it's it and makes it's, life it's, significantly it's, easier. It's, yeah, it's, it sounds so priv privileged when you say that, but like no, like as someone who you know, has been poor in their life, money doesn't solve every problem. But there is a point in your life where money is ninety percent of your problems, right? right and just, right. and and once- Yeah, when once money is your problem, you don't really have time to think about anything yeah. other than money. Mm. Exactly. And like my mentality when I was a kid was just, I just want to get by and have, and be like comfortable, you yeah. know, because- Same, same, same. And you know, I, I, I feel like that was, that was my big driving force to like really try to be successful and to take risks is just cause I was just tired of just, not like knowing what my life situation would be like five years down the mm. line. It's just like, how am I, how the fuck am I going to take care of my parents when they get old? Like yeah, that, yeah, that was, yeah. that was a big fucking there, thing for me. There's definitely a time when I was like 16 to like 18, where I thought I really love video games. I don't really care what job I get. I just want to be able to play games after work. That's right. what I, that's what I genuinely, I thought I wanted for like yeah, a few yeah, years. Yeah. Yeah. And then when I went to university, it like very much kicked in. I was like, I don't think I can do an eight hour job a day. No, I hate, no. like I think I can't do that. I did like, a three month internship to know that I don't want to do yeah, this yeah. for the rest of my life. Yeah. I was like, I mean, I, more, more power to people who love that, that line of work. It just, yeah. I was, I was jealous. I was at the time, I was so jealous of the people that loved my course and what we were doing. Mm. Cause I felt like they were just so OP with school. Yeah. yeah. They like got through it. They got all the good opportunities because they enjoyed it. Like I just didn't enjoy it. And I couldn't mm. try because I just didn't care. I no, was I like, have I hate so this. much respect for people who, you know, can go to their, you know, nine to five job and be like, I was fine. At the time when I didn't know what the fuck I was doing, I was yeah. so jealous. I yeah. was like, fuck man, I wish I knew what the fuck I was yeah, doing. Right? You know, and I'm sure for, for every person, like, you know, I got very lucky and I found something that I loved and that luckily makes money somehow. Mm. Yeah, as my mom disbelieves that it did for a very long time. But <laughs> somehow I think a lot of parents did. Yeah, yeah. Somehow yeah. it makes money, right? And, you know, I'm sure for every, you know, one of me that got very lucky, there was probably 10 people who never really found what they liked and just mm. had to like, kind of just be like, all right, well, I got to get a job. You know, yeah. I, I can't, I can't do nothing all my life. Yeah, exactly. I, sucks. I, I think one thing I've realized more as I've grown older is that as a kid, we were sold this idea that there's only really one yeah, yeah. one way your career path can go, right? It's mm. like education, university, get a job to do with your degree and your career progresses from there. And that's like, I had this, I had that mentality for like the longest time in my life. And now like the older I've, the older I've gotten, the more people I've met who have had like 
the weirdest fucking career paths. I mean, lady beer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We've had a lot of those people on the podcast. I feel, yeah, like, yeah. I feel like in the entertainment industry, you do meet the people who kind of are just bouncing from things to things. You're just yeah. trying to figure out what they want, right? Just, not, just, not, just not trying even, to enjoy life. Yeah, yeah. Not even in entertainment, just like living in Japan as well. Yeah. Like, I, like, I, like meeting like teachers who have like found opportunities just randomly, mm. like, like sometimes like what I'm trying to say is that as a kid, I was, I, you know, we, we got put this pressure on that by the time you go to university or by the time you finish high school, you need to know what you want to do for the rest of your life. I wish they didn't fucking sell me that lie. Yeah, that's yeah. bullshit. That, that, that's, 100% bullshit. that is the biggest lie of the fucking world. I, I feel it's especially, especially for like, especially when you're a young adult, the biggest lie of the fucking world is thinking that once you start a career path that you're going to have to stick on this for like the majority of your life. And that's such a fucking lie. And like the, another big lie is thinking that you need to go to fucking university or college <laughs> to have, to have a decent career. That's also a fucking lie. There are so many different career paths um, that are available to you. Mm. That is not just higher education because as an Asian, I was taught that if I don't do higher education, I'm a fucking failure. If I don't life. get that A, uh, yeah. I, I failed as an Asian. And I, I'm not, I, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, like, I'm not even talking about being a YouTuber because obviously yeah. we we are very lucky to be able to be yeah, YouTubers, right? Yeah. You know, but like, I'm not even talking about like, oh, we're YouTubers. That's a different different career path I found. No, I've met, I've met like so many other people who have like just found random jobs. I mean, fucking mail in found her fucking job through Craigslist. <laughs> like it, it, is, it is about just trying and looking and just yeah. being yeah. at the right place at the right time and making sure you take every opportunity that comes your way. Exactly. Yeah. Like I just say yes to everything. Yeah. yeah. And that's why- You I miss every some, opportunity you don't take. Yeah, man. Yeah. You know, and if, if you, which is in the UK, which is something that I just did, really didn't enjoy. It was like the culture of you go to work, you go to the pub and that's it. Like you yeah. never try and do any self-improvement. You never try and like look for any other opportunities. Mm. Like looking for another job is like, oh wow, what's wrong with you? Yeah. <laughs> and like, yeah. there are so many opportunities out there for different jobs that you like never even thought about until you are, uh, un until it's just on your lap. Like, mm. have, have, we ever, have we ever talked about Kenny before? Like your friend? No, I haven't what, talked about Kenny. What he's doing? Oh well, yeah, Ke Kenny's my friend who uh, lives in Niigata. And yeah, he's he's just he's just crazy guy. He's great. I love him. He's amazing. <laughs> he's so funny. He's really he, he, he's rich. he's a proper lad. He is. And uh, he's just he's up in Niigata in the middle of Japan, and he's half Japanese, half Welsh, and he's just a fake priest. And like I think I've spoken about some before <laughs> that my friend's a fake priest. Yeah, yeah. But like he teaches English, and then he's also a fake priest, and that's just what he likes doing. But he also just doesn't really care about being in one place for too long. He's like, I just kind of go wherever and- it's just a wonder. He, just he, he literally just goes places and he's like, all right, what's going on? Let's figure out, let's try and get a job here. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. He just doesn't give a fuck. Yeah, I, I have a friend who's similar to that. Cause he's just, he just, like, I, 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 I couldn't do that. No. Like, like I, yeah. but he, he's badass. He just turns up and does what he wants. Yeah. It's great. Like yeah. I, and it, you know, he's always super happy and super optimistic and I'm like, are you British? Are you really like? You grew up in the UK, right? How are you? It's this the optimistic? Japanese side that's kicking yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. Right he now. just yeah, just turns up. He's like, yeah, what's going on? Like, you know, yeah. always has a good time. Talks to anyone he meets. Like, it's just like, yeah. It's a good I feel thing. people like that are usually like the most optimistic people yeah. in the planet, yeah. right? Because I have a, I have a friend like that who was like, he's an animator for a, a, an anime studio here. He he did like the I met him through like the pop team epic stuff, mm -hmm. but like he also just like goes out. He's just like, I'm just gonna go on a road trip for a month and just like try and make some money along the way and just see what happens. Yeah. yeah. And like he he comes back with all these like insane like stories of just like him on the road being like, yeah, I just like walked into this like random cafe, got a job for like two days and then got some money and used that for like fuel to just like go <laughs> oh, to the fuck. next place. I'm like, that's so fucking cool because yeah. I can never fucking do that. No. I, yeah. I could not bring myself to just be like, I don't know where I'm going to be tomorrow. Yeah, I don't know I, what I'm going to do not, tomorrow. I could not. I couldn't, I couldn't do that. I couldn't myself. do that either. No. I, need, I need like some, some like at least a little bit of a plan. I need some kind of direction. I like yeah, plans. yeah. I like plans. Yeah, I like plans. I, I like. <laughs> plans. Yeah, I used to like spreadsheet all my like spending in university, like to oh, the really? like, penny, and I would like have like a prediction of like my spending coming up <laughs> and what I was allowed to spend and like, yeah. like literally everything in a spreadsheet. And then yeah. I, and then when I started like my YouTube started giving me some money and I, in university, I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. I was like, I don't need the spreadsheet anymore. Fuck this. I'm not, why am I, why am I like fucking, why am I br like spending hours a week <laughs> updating this fucking spreadsheet? Yeah. It doesn't fucking matter anyway. Cause I'm not gonna spend that much. Yeah. It doesn't fucking matter. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm. And like, like to go off what we were saying, I don't, I, I'm not saying like there's no place for like higher education and university or everything, but- I'm still glad I went. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I mean, I'm still I'm glad, glad I went. went, but what I'm saying is like, you don't feel the pressure to need to go just because you don't know what you want to do mm. with your life. You know, that's that, that's that's the big thing, right? Because yeah. it's it's so it's such bullshit. 
that by the time you hit 18, it's just the expectation where it's just like, you need to know what you're doing now. You know, you, you are now, you are, you, you, your birthday is ticked over. You are now an adult. Yeah. yeah like you, you so need to know everything. There are now. 30 year olds out there, 40 year olds who don't know what the fuck they want yeah. to do. Yeah. The guy who like found like, a McDonald's is like 40 years old. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's like, so it's I, just, I don't really feel too bad about it. Like you you know, like I said earlier, like you'll do the most, the most productive years of your life, like 40 years old. So mm. as far as I'm concerned, you're just fucking up until you get to the point where you can like actually do shit. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Just, just, you're just fucking up enough until you f found out a way to not fuck yeah. up, right? Build, build the foundation of the character you want to be, you know? It's, yeah, yeah. It, all, it all goes back to the snowboarding, right? Like just tumble a couple of times until you learn how to not tumble. Right? <laughs> Damn, what a, what a good wow. ending, cue what, credits. Get Damn. good, get good, get good in life. Well, with that Basically. amazing segue, <laughs> thank you, Joey. Let's check out the patrons, look at them. Wow. <laughs> beautiful. Look wow. at all, all these, these lovely patrons. patrons. None these, of these are peasants. None I mean, of these are peasants. None, all of, they all own clear. espresso yeah. machines. No, none, of the, none of them are homeless, right? <laughs> well, hopefully, hopefully, oh hopefully. God, hopefully. I'm, I'm getting out of here before we get canceled. <laughs> but hey, if you'd like to support the show, then make sure to go to patreon.com slash trash taste. Also follow us on Twitter, send us your memes on the subreddit. And if you hate our faces, listen to us on Spotify. Oh. Where the fuck did Connor go? Why? Leaving before I get canceled. <laughs> <laughs> it's too late, Connor. It's too late. It's too late. <laughs> we're, all, we're all canceled. All right, well, thanks for watching. I've been boss man one with boss man two and no longer here, Boss Man 3, and we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye. Bye. <laughs>